come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for total world domination, mm-hmm. which you can help us out with by going over to wherever you found us. And please hit that like or subscribe button because all of that stuff helps us get found by other folks like you. We like that. Yeah, because you're into the same stuff that we're into. Yeah, and we want to find all of you. And uh, an army. That's right. Global domination. Yeah, These sure. are the internet radio superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by you. You, you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. This is listener request month. This is the it last is. of four movies that we've done Every that January. you requested. And uh, thank you, good people, for uh, making this your uh, yes. most the one you wanted us to do the most. It we, ha- truly, we, we, we do have to stop and thank them. Yeah, right? it, because we have people who listen and vote. I, That's it, the basics of what I want to thank you for. It, you it's know? great that you care about what we yes. do. I, I love that you are in, want that to be involved care. and you care about what we're... You know what? Stop coddling them. You know? I know because this is no. a, they were because we watched other movies in this series. Now we've watched all three of these, which uh, we thanks to... We completed uh, the trilogy. That's right, because we also have this other thing going on where tonight, we... tonight, people! <laughs> no, love lives today, Holly. Uh, love but can live tomorrow. It's going to end tonight. We have this thing where uh, if an actor or director appears on three movies, they go immediately to our Hall oh, of Fame. Oh, shit. Yes. We're Wall of Faming a ton of people We tonight, Wall of Famed a shitload of people. Yeah. Like, oh, every, the God entire damn cast, it. The whole cast. Uh, oh, I'm sure. Crew, I forgot I about that. I didn't even yeah. think right. about that. Yep. Fuck. So there you okay. go. Damn. Sorry, Igor. That's a lot of work for him. Yeah. Because yeah, he's, he's got to frame them all up and put them up in the and hallway. Send out the certificates. A, yeah, there's a whole machinery going back yeah, there. God yeah. Goddamn, Igor's going to work overtime. We'll just he do, needs to. We'll, he likes the work. No, we'll, he we'll, likes a good hard day at work. We'll just do one blanketed plaque. Halloween. F- just yeah. friend. Yes. Child. Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Give him the field the trilogy. trilogy. The, the yeah. green trilogy. The Evil exactly. Dies Tonight trilogy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I suppose we should say officially what we watch tonight. Halloween, Halloween ends. ends from the year 2000 something. Yeah, last year? 22? Yeah. 22? Yeah. It's, it, I'm sorry. It's hard <laughs> when there's so many years flying around with this movie. This it, is the movie that yeah. we all tried not to talk about in our end of year episode because we knew it was coming. <laughs> what? And then Colin talked a lot about how he hated it. Yeah. And, and uh, we're here. we had an off mic discussion when this movie first came of course, out. Of course. Saying, we should we do an episode on this? And we decided no because. Y'all, was, did, yeah. y'all didn't like our Halloween Kills episode. Let's, all right, let's put well, some the of them, majority so, yeah. decided no. Yeah. yeah. Um, and <laughs> yet here we are four months later. And we have to do Halloween, Halloween ends. ends. So yeah. thank you very so, much for this. How did we all how, your how did fault. we all come to Halloween ends? Like Because this was obviously, as previously for uh, Halloween Kills, a uh, day and date release between theaters and Peacock. Mm-hmm. So where did we all See, I did not go to. We all watched this. I watched it all. Yeah, I watched it on Peacock. Well, we watched Kills together, Mm -hmm. and we watched this one separate. Yep. But I didn't go to the theater because of the negative experience I'd had with the previous two movies. Yeah. Yep. Mm. They, yeah. Yep. It didn't feel like I wanted to go see it. So, I mean, I guess, okay, so that that is a question. I mean, I guess, I, you know, I will recap, I guess, how I came into it for, uh, you know, from the, the best <laughs> of. But I remember Sean... Um, hated <laughs> Halloween kills. I, I do. I still uh, none of do us, not like that movie. Yeah. None of us liked it. it. No, right? it's, it's a, go back, I'll still say it's a legit. It's a bad movie. Yes, and uh, but I was like, well, you know, that felt like an overreaction. It's like mm-hmm. Sean was like really hating. Uh, like, it. like you said, I did go nuclear on that. Yeah. but I, you I did. Uh, that's fine. But that was the emotion. That's again, I uh, what I'm going to bring to this is the emotion because we are coming off of most of the time immediately watching the movie yeah, yeah. so which we did is, tonight so. which we did tonight which is more of uh it is more of a, a feeling reaction i'm going to give you rather a visceral than visceral reaction yes, yes. It, it will be more visceral at least this time it's been kind of tempered by time and i guess it that's has. what i was trying to do personally because i was uh like why i went into this movie going like well it's gonna suck as bad as the last one <laughs> and then i got mad <laughs> because yeah, Col- of yeah. the 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 insult i think that this movie did yeah. so then tonight we okay, have no, to watch it Let's, again. let's mark that that you were there was an insult you were insulted right yeah, so no, i we agree need to make sure this we, movie insults the audience okay yes. we want to make sure we from the that. jump but is this I, okay. how did you guys i guess that's the question how did you guys go into this movie from halloween kills halloween ends is coming out 
How'd you go into it? I hated Halloween Kills, so I had little to no hope for this movie. Mm-hmm. I watched mm-hmm. this movie out of obligation, not out of desire. Same. But it didn't make you like stark raving mad. Oh, no, it did. Okay, it did. Yeah, it did. Okay. My expectations were extremely low, and yet I was still disappointed. Okay. I, was, I was not stark raving mad when I watched this movie. I, I had a unique experience of watching this movie. Um, it started at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sean watches movies in increments. I'm, 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 a, weird, I'm a weird viewer. A, um, no. no, I watched it at 3 in the morning. You, were, you did. I right? did. It was just like, it well, was, what up? Yeah, it was during my rough time in in October. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rough month for me, right? But yeah, I, it was it was the day it came out, which I was gonna watch it because I'm sick. Uh, but it's you know it's the sickness. But um, at a certain point, at, and again, like two o'clock in the morning, I was like, ah, let's give it a watch. I was high at the time. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. And so I started watching this movie at two o'clock in the morning, and I watched. I figuring I would like start to fall asleep to it. And I started watching it and my jaw dropped because I could not believe what this movie was doing, mm-hmm. what was happening in this movie. Mm-hmm. So I had to watch it a couple hours, maybe it was a couple hours later. The next day when I woke up, I decided I need to watch this again just to make sure what I saw last night <laughs> was <laughs> this Halloween movie. I was in such disbelief of what they did. That was the second one. That was the second one. And I think a couple days later, I decided to watch it again just to like. Because you were disbelief. You, dis- the the, it, it, the disbelief it, it, hit yes. you so hard. You were like, yes. I can't believe I have to watch it three the times. of what it was from, from <laughs> no, where we came is- from to where we went was so much. I did not believe Did you think either. like it was a puzzle and all the pieces were there? You just needed to put no, it no, together? No. It didn't feel like there was anything to figure out. It just felt the the... The I'm trying to help you out here, man. No, no, no. The decisions they made were so. Um, so you are a glutton for punishment, so my man. So you were telling me that you were cutting yourself to make sure you still feel pain. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. A Halloween movie made me feel something other than anger. What? That was nice. What did it make you feel? Bewilderment. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, it's. I mean, we'll talk about it. Well, I mean, uh, this I, is well, a perfect we, place. Yeah, to, like, yeah. I feel like we've started. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It, uh, no, take your time. No, it is. It is. It, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it started out as bewilderment. I didn't believe it's such a. This feels like such a left turn because b- based on where we came from, like this feels like uh, how far back of where we came from, like ho- from Halloween, from like 2018. Okay, I didn't know how far back you were going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, this is a franchise full of left turns, man. Yeah, like, it's right. not like we haven't seen left turns from, before. And it, but it feels like maybe the movie that they, uh, David Gordon Green and, um, what's his name? Danny McBride. Danny McBride. Maybe this is the movie they pitched as their vision for it early on, as like the first movie. This feels had... like it should be the first movie. Do you it think feels th- like it but, should be the first movie. Okay, but did you do you think that they had a plan for three movies when no. they... Okay. They had a plan for one think, movie. No, yeah. I think they had a plan for <clears throat> this movie. So this is a First horrible off. idea we're saying that you go into a, a horror movie franchise and say, we're not pitching one, we're doing three. Because mm-hmm. it was announced early on that there was going to be Halloween, Halloween uh, uh, Kills, and Halloween Ends. Mm-hmm. They, they told you that they were going to do that. From, and that, the, wait, from when? What I think from the from the moment, well, from the, the success of the first one. They yeah, said but originally it was too. just Jamie Lee Curtis is back for a new Halloween yes. movie. Yes. But they and that was the end of it. Hadn't they, didn't they say they secured like... Not right away. Okay. No, mm-hmm. what they had said that they wanted to shoot, the idea was to shoot the first two back to back. That's where they were going. and so. The, but I think they parked that idea for later to be safer in the movie they made. Mm. And then they made the next two... I mean, COVID fucked a lot of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in the middle of that. But no, I think they were going to make back-to-back movies right off the bat. But again, like they did with It the same year? Mm, The year before? Was it 2017? They they wanted to make sure this one would be a success before they went on to the next one. Yeah, because Blumhouse obviously bought the rights, and they're like, this is a big cash cow, right? We got Halloween. They probably had to pay a fortune to it to the Akkads and uh, Weinsteins or whoever, Miramax, who owned it. To get it over there and then to Universal. And then they're like, okay, we're going to make this one Halloween. And then we're going to do a couple more. What are we going to do? And then, you know, yeah. Okay, so here we are. They've basically exhausted. I mean, I guess that's the thing. It's like Halloween is... uh, 
as a horror story, it's very simple. The original John Carpenter movie, right? The reason that it works is because it's like a fairy tale kind of, you know, it's like, uh, I like, I keep going back to Hansel and Gretel. I don't know if that actually works, but like as the, the simplicity, the, the simplicity, it, yeah. the sim- simple horror the story. Scare, yes. Yeah. And the problem with a story that simple is if you want to, exp- to keep making movies in that universe, you either expand on it, which is going to make it more complex, or you just keep remaking the same movie. Right. So not great options for right. sequels, Be- prequels we, going forward. And I think we've seen interviews with uh, David Gordon Green and Danny McBride where they criticized all the movies that we love yes. of Halloween, basically right. saying that Aside they were the first one, remakes yes. of the first movie and they weren't any good, which, you know, it's, is it, an insult to people who are fans of Halloween. Yes, yeah. of course. Because you know, there's a lot of those movies I love. It's a lot not, like there's a, a lot in those movies. It's a lot, a lot. like Ryan Johnson literally throwing that lightsaber away way in the last Jedi. Uh, yeah. We'll I think we about talked that. about yep. that before, yep. right? Yep. I mean, we've, that's, we've definitely uh, talked yeah. about in our previous mo- franchise movies of yeah. this fr- trilogy, so, the, the comparisons to the last yes. Jedi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this well, is a problem. It's funny with, oh, that you, well, no, I just want to say that it's funny that we're talking about this movie and then you, you're like, well, the first Halloween and we brought that up. I forgot that this movie was part of that series. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah well, like, the... It feels so different. It's so it's so now. different. Mm-hmm. So different. But mm-hmm. continue, that movie's sorry. quaint in comparison <laughs> to this, you know, quaint. Well, Hollywood does now seem to be I mean, this is maybe the movie that like totally broke me. You know, now because <laughs> I've noticed like there's, it. there's the pull quote for the Blu-ray. Yeah. This is the movie think, that totally if you broke me. Something more than Halloween Kills. I believe it broke you. Well, yeah. I think it it wasn't. I think you know, there's been a trend in Hollywood movies, and this might have been the one where I'm just like, okay, fuck it, fuck Hollywood, and this whole like, I just hate where movies are going now. There's nothing for me because all I'm seeing them do is take uh, something that I held in high regard. You know, and they they just they're they're like oh, they shit was, on it. Yeah, yeah. I, because I think I described this is like watching a corpse get fucked. Yeah. You know, like of some but somebody you love, and but you're like, behind oh, class. You can't that. do anything about it. Yeah. yeah, and it's like who are these people who are defiling this thing? You know, <laughs> Colin. I just remember you were the first one in the, our group to watch it, and. <laughs> Sean asked you what you thought in the group chat and you just responded, I've taken a lot of abuse from this franchise. Yeah. And that was the only yeah. thing you said. And I just that really like sums the, it up very well. Thought. You were in the middle of a process. Like, and this is just where you I've taken a lot of abuse you from said, this series. Excuse yeah. me while yeah. I try and process. I'm gonna this. try and heal from this trauma. <laughs> okay, yeah. But I guess okay, so this is the so thing. This, right? so, so a movie the, a movie series, thirteen movies in can still damage you this way. That's, know, yeah. that's impressive that's, almost, that's, right? Right? Uh, almost, but, it's like, <laughs> but that's a like, lot to carry into this movie. It's a lot of baggage. This far on. But you kind of have to go like, okay, you know, because there are people who are going to defend Halloween ends and say yes. like, oh, it's actually great if you, you know, because I think um, the people who defend it, it seems to me that the common ref- refrain is this. <laughs> Halloween is so old. It's been going on for so long, oh. and those old movies really weren't that good. Or they're, or they're, they're very. You hear this they're, a lot? They're, they're, they've been around for a very long time, and I'm tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. And thank God they did something different. Wasn't that like what Rob Zombie did? Also, well, like, he remade you know, it. Like, you know, yeah, right. he I made it something say, completely thank different. God they did something different without having that background on it, though. About how they feel about it, but the, you know I'm saying I mean? those people are tired of Michael Myers movies. Yeah, so mm-hmm. then d- don't watch Halloween movies. This you know? is my like, point. Yeah, you know, you know? Oh, yeah. it's like if then you're calling find a new it franchise, you know, right? If you're calling it Halloween, then there's a there's something that I want from it. Yes, that I guess they're just but, like, you know what? We know better than you. We timed it 40 minutes until Michael Myers mm-hmm. shows up in this movie. Yeah, which was, that was a surprise that yep. they were just going to totally, you know, throw yeah. it away and go like, no, it's a different movie. Yep. And well, yeah, and that's, that's what would you have done different as, uh, going, coming from the last one, coming into this one? Oh, God. Where would you have gone? Well, I mean, if I wouldn't. Have, if, I you're wouldn't intru- about, if you're angry about where it goes and what it does and whatever it is, like, that means you expected something and didn't get it or you I, wanted something. What did you want? I expected an ending to the trilogy that had been set which up Which would have been before. what? I mean, like, where, where does that well, go for that's, you That's exactly the problem, though, because the, if the, the thing that they set up, right, is that 
There's Michael Myers, and we got Jamie Lee Curtis back. So yep. there's there's Jamie Lee Curtis. So we have to have the final showwdown yes. between mm. Lori and Michael the Myers. Final, final, final. Right. Final, final, final. There's going to be is. two more final, final showdowns final. before yeah. this final, final showdown. Final, final, final. But that's my point yep. of the problem Kinda of announcing that punch, you're doing right? three of them. Yep. Right. So it's like, oh, we're going to have three final Especially shows. Honestly, it's, gonna, yeah. it's kind of the big problem I had with Infinity War. You snap everybody, but I know they're coming back. So is there, is there, do I really have an emotional investment here when I know there's going to be two more movies, you know? Not if, really. Yeah, if you pay attention yeah. to the contract talks. So yeah. like, oh, he signed up for three movies. <laughs> True. But I guess, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the, this is, that this was, is, I guess, These what are I movies wanted. that cross more over into the mainstream than most of our other things do. Yeah. And I feel like this one, it crosses the line because we've talked about it before where, um, is it still a cohesive movie if it's not a Michael Myers movie? And no, it's fucking not. No. This is a shit movie, even if it wasn't a Halloween movie. Yeah. So you're saying it's, yeah. so you're saying it's you're not cohesive. you explain that. Yeah. No, yeah. Like it's, it's, it, well, I'm. In yeah. what way? It, I mean, just like the, the overall, like, the overall, like, results that is a movie. It's not mm. well, it's not well shot. It's a not movie well directed. Or, it's or not well movie written. Or part of, no, like, well, well, okay, yeah, yeah. Edited, a movie like, or part of this thing. Three. No, uh, that's what I'm saying. A, a, that's a I'm movie, saying. a part of this three, a part of this whole thing. Like all of the, it fails so on much. all, all it, of it. It yeah. fails on all, yeah, fronts. Well, I mean, I can make, uh, I think I can make a good defense you know, <laughs> about like it failing as part of the third chapter of oh, the no. story. I think you can because you're looking at. Like there are uh, story arcs that are set up and never paid off. There, there's a big attention paid to like Michael Myers never says anything in the first one. Michael say something. Yes. He never said anything. He's he always staring speak. out his sister's bedroom sparing. window. What did and that have to do with that? Anything? Never pays yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, there's the Will uh, Patton characters, the sheriff, because he was actually it turns out the guy who let Michael Myers get away. Yeah. I think like that night we find out in the in Halloween Kills. Mm -hmm. That My never God. pays off, right? Yeah. Uh, there's no arc for that character. Uh, there's no arc oh. for um, uh, the the kid Kyle Richards. Um, what's oh, her? Lindsay. Lindsay. Yeah. There's yeah. No arc. She's just in this movie. Yep. As yep. a bartender yeah, and a, tarot a, reader. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. uh, Lori's arc is all fucked up because, like, it's when backwards. we meet her in the yes, <laughs> it's yeah, backwards. Yeah. It's in the wrong order. Yes. Because in this movie, how is she presented she's to us? She's totally healed from her trauma because she just decided to choose love. Yeah, she's, she's, she's not. She, yeah. She, she, she says a, that. She says, homemaker. I decided to choose love. She bought a house and she's living like her best life. Celebrating Halloween. But this makes Writing no sense. Because, and her daughter died four years ago. Yeah. And yeah. Michael Myers is still out there. Yes. So we're yeah. supposed because, to believe. Because Judy Greer was like, I need to get the fuck out of this franchise. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And like, Kill she, me, she saw the writing on the wall and said, right. give me the she's fuck like, out of here. I'll be dead. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here's the idea for the next two hey, movies. Kill, kill me off, Okay. Well, can we? Yeah, I'll die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll be good. You can even kill me in like the cold open there's of that movie if you want. That'd be great. There's, there's yeah. barely a mention. There's not even a picture no. of her in this movie. Yeah, but there maybe is. I, no, there's a picture. That, but maybe oh. that would be okay. So if we were going to do Halloween three, right? Or there's their set of Halloween three. Like maybe that's something to go off of because then at least you have her death, which was her supposed to be the nothing. stakes of kills. Nothing actually means something. Her death means nothing. That's it crazy. means nothing. It's, so when I what I mean when I say like these movies are out of order is no yeah the franchise like, yes. should have been Lori spent the f 40 years working really hard to be normal yes. and she and is she exactly. is she is one thread she's one thread pull away from unraveling that. right but she got yeah. it. like she got it she got it and she had a good life right. up until but now it can yeah there is that and that thread pull thread is her daughter getting murdered yes yep. and, and then, then she becomes, she becomes a, survivalist. a survivalist yes, yes. yes. yeah that's exactly. the order of events which is I'm guessing what they pitched at a certain point as their first movie. Yes. I, uh, this seems more towards the vision of a, what would be the start of this trilogy, an arc for a character. Right. Yeah. So there is no arc for Lori oh. then, because it's like we're starting over again in this one yeah. where, you know, and nothing that she does in this makes sense. Everyone treats her like shit. She's considered, she's blamed 
uh, by the citizenry of <laughs> She taunted a man with brain damage, according to one of the residents. <laughs> that was that's crazy. That to was me. Cr- that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's a crazy. That is extreme, uh, extreme victim blaming. Holy shit. Like this, this woman has been stalked for the mo- majority of her life, mm-hmm. seeing all of her friends and family murdered. And you're saying that's her fault? Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, that's, wow. That's, that's crazy fucked to up. say this far in to have character. Ugh. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's where they're going. Like, well, it's new. We haven't done that before. We haven't actually blamed Lori yeah. for the events that That'll happened. That'll make the audience well, feel great. trying to release Michael of anything yeah. that he did. Yeah. He's like, oh, this man had brain damage, so yeah. well, what is he responsible for? Yeah. Right. Wow. Right. Okay. That's right, too, because uh, this movie constantly demystifies the devil. I mean, I guess they have been doing that in the other ones, and that I also find kind of offensive. It's like a movie monster, once you start deconstructing it, I think loses its threat. I mean, at no point is this movie scary. At no, no point do you really no. fear Michael Myers. He's an old guy in a mask. We're told that by the characters, I think, several times. Like, you're just a man in a mask. Yeah, yeah. as he wrestles the mask away from this man. Yep. Yes, that is yeah. literally what happens. He gets beat down, and he can barely do anything, and he's just an old fuddy-duddy and wandered around. And then you're like, who is this guy, and what is he? what motivates him? <laughs> I still have no idea. I, I know. I know we're like, Halfway into this we, podcast, we, but okay. oh no, I have to. I have to. I say, need to go are we back just to, like, in the, the middle of everything? Do, we, of the do we need to stop and go back and and uh, yeah, start a we, narrative we, yeah. in, in what we're doing as a podcast? Because we're really just jumped in. Well, I, I have issues with the movie starting with the title card. So I mean, okay. like so you know, how does this movie start, uh, Michaela? It uses the Halloween three font. Which is immediately like, I'm immediately out on this movie yep. the second I see that because I know they're doing that as a way to cover their ass. Yep, that they're is saying, intention. this movie's going to be, this ain't your mama's Halloween. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be the one you think is weird. And yeah. And but, there's going to yeah. be barely any they're Michael going, Myers, if any. They know the image of Halloween 3 and they're yep. going for it. And they use that font to cover their ass. And that is a, just an excuse for anything that doesn't hold up. They'll just be like, well, it's the, it's the different one. It it's can the, it's be, the, yeah. You know, yeah. and I hate that. So I immediately feel like that's insulting to the audience to even do that. So it's all, yeah, it's it's all like, downhill. Remember this one that, because, uh, you know, I think we've talked before that Halloween 3 is now regarded by some, uh, you know, twisted individuals out there is like, well, it's actually a pretty good movie mm-hmm. if you don't see it as a Halloween movie. To which if I say look, it has good concepts, but it's still it not well concepts, executed. It's, yeah. it's not Atkins. a good movie. It, yeah, it's got right. We did an episode. Robots. Right, actually, you can mm-hmm. go back and listen. That's an interesting episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it has we good ideas. Someone you could racism remake in that episode. I'm pretty sure you could remake Halloween uh, three. Uh huh. Probably is. There's a movie that yeah. you know, should be remade. If there was Stonehenge in this movie, yep. Yeah. So this one is yes. not a not your mama's Halloween not, movie. Not your no. mama's Halloween. Yeah, yeah. No. which is not going to be Laurie Strode versus Michael Myers nope. because. Again, we have the mission statement from uh, Gordon Green and McBride at the beginning of this thing, where it's like the thing that uh, that they hate about where Halloween went was that they linked Michael Myers to Laurie Strode and made him her his sister, right? Yes. Because if Michael Myers goes after her, then I'm not afraid of him because then he's not a, uh, he's not a threat to me. Which is actually like not true because he kills anyone that's yeah. in his path. I know, so I, I mean yeah. that's, that's not true. He's got the, yeah. These guys are he fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah, he's he's not that laser focused. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But, but isn't but like then, a, like oh I'm standing here, Lori's there. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. Exactly. Just go to Lori like a <laughs> right. fucking magnet. But <laughs> now but this is the thing. Now we have <laughs> to have reasons to because we've paid Jamie Lee Curtis to be in three movies. Yes. We have to have reasons for Michael Myers to go after you Lori Strode. So you can't announce a trilogy and expect us to care about part two yeah, yeah and they can't come up with a reason why because i mean even in this movie the reason that he shows up finally at her house is arbitrary to her being there at all yep. yes you know and i'm still not convinced he even knows who she is i mean he's a mental patient and i don't he's know a man what, with brain damage apparently yep, and i don't know what motivates yeah. him i don't know if he recognizes crack for four years where he is you know <laughs> Which are things I don't want to be thinking about Michael Myers. <laughs> well, okay. And so now, as if me not having a problem with the title card is already enough, the first shot of the movie after the title card, I'm I'm extra mad now. Now I'm ready to flip a table already. Right? <laughs> no, the first it, shot of this movie is, is a it, shot from Halloween. It is. 1978. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm, how well, dare well, you? Well, that's, is that, that's, that's after, after the, the our cold open? 
I was going to say. Yeah. No, I thought it was. Yeah, that was after the cold open. Okay. All right, let's well, talk about the cold open. But how, like, <laughs> you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna previously on Halloween me in yeah, this movie? Yeah, it really is. You give me a recap of the that's entire when the franchise? The VO comes in. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, okay, well, we'll go back to the cold open. Cold open. Well, the cold open <laughs> introduces us to a male bitty, babysitter. This is the big twist that they're doing. Oh, no, it's, like, it's never happened male, before, ever. Male, male, whole, male whole, baby, the whole, babysitter. The whole time I'm watching this, Okay, because I'm stoned the first time I'm watching this too, and I'm like, yes. "Wait, did we meet these people in the last movie?" And I don't remember. Like, I'm racking my brain nope. trying to be, be like, "Should I know who these people are?" Because it says it's Halloween 2019, yes. so this is the year after everything went down. Uh, Halloween and Halloween Kills, right? Yes. Right? Which right. happened on the same. They uh, happened on the same night. Yep. Right. Yep. So Corey Cunningham. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, it's a purposeful name. Yeah, because now I did not get that, I guess, no, when I first watched this. it wasn't at the forefront of my mind when I first watched this either. That there are parallels here in the plot to John Carpenter's Christine, which is a Stephen King book. But mm-hmm. I mean, like Corey Cunningham, Archie Cunningham. Yep. There's a, he, he looks works, the same. They look a lot alike. They work in a shot. There are shots in this movie, if you've seen Christine, that it takes almost directly. Lifts, yeah, that, yeah. that car mm-hmm. chase in the junkyard is, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The oh, glass is being too. crushed. He works at a junkyard. Yeah. Christine's of this. good movie. Yeah. Um, so why they were like, you know, we're going to do this other John Carpenter movie that we love. We're going to do an ode to that in place of Halloween. Uh, okay. Right. But so Corey, uh, this whole open Again, was like choices for the third movie. Weird. Right. But it was the when I first watched it, I'm like, OK, this is going to be some kind of, uh, you know, Michael Myers is still out in the open after Halloween kills. And so he's going to somehow attack this babysitter and his charge, you know, the kid that night. But that doesn't happen. Corey ends up getting locked in a closet. He's afraid of the dark, and he busts open a door and knocks a kid over a oh, yeah, wow, wow, you, you okay. Okay. All right, it, calm down. This kid's an asshole. They're watching. Oh, there's, okay. there's a thing called for, foreplay. Oh, yeah. Foreplay, Colin. Foreplay well, in the horror movie. Into the yeah. actual movie. I know, but you got, they shot like, for 30 minutes in, and we haven't even gotten past the cold open. Um, it, the, here's the thing. They're, they're, when they're babysitting, they're watching John Carpenter's The Thing. Yeah. So in this universe, did John Carpenter not direct that movie? Does John Carpenter exist within this Halloween universe? This bra- this breaks Which the is whole why thing they open. should have done the 2011 thing. Would have been funny. Would have been. F- I would have uh, li- the this one too on the nose. Like Jesus, yeah. if they'd done the other one. I would have laughed and <laughs> given them that credit. Really, especially like, if it was funny. one of the scenes with the really bad CGI. Yeah, that so would have been really be like, funny. All right, bravo. Like the bubblegum stretch. Yeah, Something. that would have been great. That would have been good. But isn't that kid, like he's an asshole. The little kid's an asshole. He he's an a, like a because super, everyone a in Haddonfield's an asshole. An asshole. Like, everyone in everyone. Haddonfield is an asshole. But I mean, I guess town. we kind of have to. It infects people. Okay, but is that... Is that what the filmmakers are trying to say? They yes. like, say it. They say it exactly literally a lot. Lori. Yeah, because her, her 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 writing of her book is a voiceover for this movie at mm-hmm. certain points, and it's very on the nose. So basically, we have an it situation here, right? Yeah, Where the landing contagious. of uh, Michael Myers in Haddonfield has spread to the populace of Haddonfield and warped them and made them all fucking jerks. I mean, everybody. I thought that's in the other and two movies. Yeah. That yeah. Also. Okay. So someone kills themselves and they're like, oh, Michael Myers got to him. That's the conclusion they're jumping to. Yep. Well, with one character, this it is town true. deserves to be nuked. I'm sorry, just <laughs> with one character the because problem. the uh, character that ki- got killed in the first one, his mom is the one who's like hung herself from the house wearing his cape that he was wearing in the first one. Yeah. Wait, that's who that was? Yep. Yeah, that's o- Oscar. I didn't know and, that. Oh no, yeah. yeah was Os- I supposed to know that? I if think you're supposed to know because he's wearing... Super she, fans would she, know this, oh, Michaela. She puts on the cape he was wearing. <laughs> yes. She puts on the cape he was wearing when he died. You know that Sean knows this. Yeah. I was going to say, we yeah, have yeah, one right yeah, here, yeah, thank yeah, God. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, it is his mom, and she hangs herself. Okay, so... The, ki- the people in the car who got shot is random. Okay. I don't know what that is. Yeah, the- so John Carpenter, when he made his first movie, was basically setting out to scare you. That was his primary motivation. And everything else that came up around it was basically, you know, an offshoot of I'm just trying to scare the shit out of you, make the scariest movie. Now, this is these movies are message movies, true or false. The whole theme of it is we're dealing with trauma, right? Yeah. And the effect of having (laughs) trauma in your life and uh, how survivor's guilt 
and mob how it mentality. affects a, mob mentality, how it affects a town, and how to heal from it. I don't think we actually get that. Nope. And no. then this movie is diving in on uh, trauma. It, see, we never really get to grief. No. In these movies, no, no they don't. Colin, time you just decide it. to choose love and everything's fine. Yeah. Maybe yeah. if they got to grief, no one would kill anyone. Yeah. We just this don't get there. This movie's so goddamn toxic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, movie's, this movie's philosophy is fucked. God damn. Yeah. Because even, I mean, maybe we'll get to it, but even some of the wording in Lori's voiceover and, and writing is just like, that doesn't sound right. No, for it's what not. you're trying no. to get across. Yeah. This doesn't sound like a healthy thing. No, it like doesn't. No. What she's these, th- these better be notes for your next therapy session. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, not to stick on this cold open for forever but okay <laughs> no, two, two weird we things we haven't even discussed it I, literally okay. so why is there that weird shot of him turning to the camera with the we're parents on either tonight. side saying we're gonna have a good time tonight and almost directly looking into the camera and it feels like there should be a needle drop and cut to like a house party right that's yeah, what it you, feels you, like it's gonna yes. happen <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, instead kind of, yeah. it, it's not it's like what is that scene it yeah. puts, I'm so hung up on it the framing on it puts the focus on Corey I but think it, that but is, it's that comedic is so, I get that but yeah. it seems like that should be like the president of the frat house talking to his brothers it is and I think yeah, we yeah, we're gonna have a good time yeah, tonight guys a lot of the framing the shots in this uh, feel very comedic to me. Yes, we get this shot. They were just talking about as in they shot. should have been. A, this is, but we're saying these. This is a comedy director. Yes, and a comedy so, writer. Yes. All of those four four writers, four, four writers workshop four, a lot of the writers. dialogue in this fucking movie. No, this, um, this blank movie, and blank, and then blank. This movie is a really long episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> it really is. It is. <laughs> Actually, Whose Line Is Better? Than, uh, it is by than this, Who's you know. Is better. Yeah. I don't think it's a fair comparison, but uh, well, well I think. But was it you, Sean? It pointed out to me a while ago that the shot where we're the camera was, static uh, and we're looking down the sewer, uh, the opening, and Michael Myers and Corey are, are wrestling. No, there are a few shots. In is this like this is that a are, comedy thing. Yeah. Yes, that are that feel like. Um, uh, staples of of comedy uh, movies or the visual of comedy yep. filmmaking, as you were like the the zoom in on when Corey looks over the grand staircase down and the camera is zooming up towards him. That feels like a very comedic shot because yeah. he's there holding the knife, like he's supposed to be caught doing that. And then yeah. when they get to, it the, feels very you okay, little bro. So, like it's, something, like it's supposed yeah. To be funny. There's yeah. something, and then but when um, there's a later scene when Corey. It is to the shot of the sewer. Corey goes in and he fights Michael Myers. He's like, give me that mask. And they go to one side of the hole. You don't see them. And mm-hmm. then they fight back across the other side it's of the hole. It's silhouettes, it, yeah. It, it's a comedic shot. Mm-hmm. Just like one person's supposed to have the advantage. And then you're like, no. Yeah. Yeah. The is, other one is. That is Scooby-Doo going back yeah, and forth it, in the hallway. Yeah. There is there's a comedic <laughs> language in the way they shoot this movie that makes... Uh, I don't take seriously what's going on when they do that. Maybe that's it. Is I, it a psychological thing? Just it, in no, the part of it is, way that we uh, see, you know, comedies, and when you're applying that film language to a horror movie, then you can't, you know, it you, doesn't no, 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 it doesn't no, no, yeah. no, because we just watched Barbarian. And that was written and directed by a comedy guy. It had comedy moments and it had genuinely terrifying it moments. Did, yeah, but it not, also, not in this way that he's talking about, where you're you're misappropriating comedy staging. Right. No, yes. I, I, you know I said, staging. But, but I'm Zach saying, Kruger like, what's, understands the right, language what's the of a difference here, though? Like, but are, like because what, I guess I don't know what Danny McBride and and David uh, whatever they're trying to do. You know, are they trying? Is this supposed to be funny or not? I, I don't know that their their intentions are not clear. I don't know that like, they know I the difference. Intent, and how to shoot I think that's it. I think their intention yeah. is not to be funny, but they only know one way to shoot it. Exactly. And the way they shoot things is funny. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, that makes and sense. I think that's it. Yeah. I think yeah. they don't understand yeah. that it translates differently. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. It's when, like when you're too close to something, you don't yeah. realize how yes. it looks to everybody yes. else. Yeah. Yes. And that's yeah. why I think they, that these are the worst people to entrust to like the exorcist it's just, and others. Yeah. So it's like your you yeah. your sensibility doesn't match the I guess, subject. Like I'm just I'm not understanding where the disconnect is happening between these two, Jordan Peele and Zach Craig, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, yeah. What is, what is not happening? Because they clearly because, understand. Yeah, they get it's it. well executed. Yeah, because I guess yeah. that's a thing we've said, you know, comedy and horror both rely on timing. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, subverting your expectations. Right. Coming yeah. in too early or too late yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I think Zach Kreger understands the correct side of that, mm-hmm. uh, where Gordon Green does not. Clearly. Um, yeah. yeah. So the opening scene basically sets Corey up the the kid is killed um in this and so Corey is now he's yeah. like the in, town pariah it, is it the best way for this child to die can we celebrate 
the way that the was a good scene. just be based on his ass holery. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, Wait, um, but it's oh, a little rich it also kid. ends up being symmetrical to what happens later in the movie. Yeah, but are you are you saying that like you were the kid deserved it? Oh yeah, yeah I think from a viewer a standpoint, the kid yeah because he was an asshole. Yeah, he's and so rich then, too. But then this is, this a, is like, a problem. That's a problem. You can't yeah, have a victim a who you're like he's a little dick and he deserved to get right. I, mean, it I know it's horrible, but you know, it like, be a more innocent child that yes, died. Yeah. If you're going to yep. have some feeling for Corey going on. But this like, is a writer problem. This is the guys who don't understand. Like, none of the characters in this movie, I thought, acted or spoke like real humans. No, right. Especially like, not Lori. Like, this, this entire movie, I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm rooting for Lori, but only because I know I'm supposed to. Like, right. Yeah, but she I'm not rooting for anyone Everyone, in this movie. Yeah, no one talks well. And that's coming from, no. <laughs> which is the yeah. dumbest way to describe. No, because they're, they're, <laughs> these people don't talk well. They like, speechify. The characters are not. Yeah. yeah, and they they're always like it's they're use they're they're wearing the film's thesis on yeah, their right. their sleeve, and right. so they have to just instead of I guess a better movie, right? Better, more clever writers. You get that sense from watching it, you know, and from what they say. Rather than the characters actually having to spoon feed it to you, yeah, you know, in in big gulps of you know, and, and, I, and it feels I, like that happens a lot. And what I hate is that it, they linger on a line because you know they think it's so good, mm-hmm. or because it's related to something that has been said before in this franchise. Yeah, yeah. Like they it's do. Just, and it's just, just so. And obvious. at this point, I, I mean, I was I heard it again tonight. And I was just like, I'm so tired of that. Like, I get it. I know. I'm so tired of just like, oh, the same dialogue from the first one. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I, get I, get like, I get it. I get it. I get it. You've seen the first one. We oh, know you yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Nick Castle is Nick in Castle this. Nick Castle debasing himself in this cameo. <laughs> yeah. the most fun Nick Castle ever had on this franchise. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the flasher at the party where they're clearly rolling on Molly or something. Right. And he's flashing. Clearly, clearly they have like. to be. They're touching their, each other's faces so much. There's, I feel like he's laying on the floor flailing around. He I feel is. like that, I feel I feel like that was cut from the movie. Yeah, oh, they, they were definitely Molly. on drugs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. They have yeah. to be. Otherwise, uh, it makes no sense. People. Otherwise, yeah. Oh, definitely. No sense. Well, the character. So Corey <laughs> he got denied a beer when he went to the bar. That's right. Corey is the main character of this movie. Surprise. Yes. Uh, Corey's not story. Lori and not uh, Allison, the, Lori's daughter, uh, granddaughter, who survived the last movie. Do you think they named him Corey because it rhymes with Lori? I, I think get, so. I think yeah. Corey, and then they took Cunning. I think that was a great. They thought they were geniuses. The light, they were like, oh, that was, they went home early that day. (laughs) (laughs) All right, back it up, boys. Let's go get some drinks. I guarantee you they went home. They high fived and then went and got drinks from the steakhouse across the street. Good day for them. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. I can smell what that day was like. (laughs) This really does feel, I mean, more and more mercenary the more that you think about it. It's like, well, we have this theme and this is what we really believe in, right? About this. We're trying to make this statement on. Uh, but in only the, the most trauma. surface level way possible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because go they don't anything. understand it. You know, that's what it feels like. It's like these are not these are people trying to make like a helicopter pass on because <laughs> they know it's in the zeitgeist. Yeah. And yeah, so we're going to write a movie. Dusting, yes. Yeah. But they don't understand it, like, really, because a lot of the stuff I think that they do would be offensive to actual, like, people who have gone through shit. Yeah, because they have no understanding of this. Like, Holly said, this movie's toxic as fuck. Yep. Anyone who's actually been through any sort of, like, mental health treatment would know this movie's full of shit, yeah. like, I, top I, to I bottom. Love the, I, I just came here to, to talk to, what's her name, Allison? Yeah. yeah. Allison. And then we cut to them walking, and she's like, I killed someone. <laughs> And she says nothing. Not the nothing. She has no reaction. There is an understanding, which is... I laughed. I yeah, laugh every yeah. time that it's, I killed someone. And well, there's just a, a hand grab. And I would be so terrified <laughs> if someone ever told that to me. Yeah. So terrified. Yeah, as you would. Even if someone you oh were deadly in it, love with. If it was... No, deadly in love. They've been talking for a while, like three they weeks are, at this point. It is a yeah. passion, yeah. Michaela. Yeah. There is passion there. If that is it what's was a going, guy that I barely knew. He was crying during that conversation they had in the I don't diner. understand, oh, though. Somebody explain to me why these two people uh, have an interest in each other. They're, because they're outcasts. Yeah. That is, I mean, that's, that's that is the basic, it. the most basic yeah. way to say the, they're outcasts. Yeah, the community only they're sees lo- them as one thing. Okay, yeah, well, I get that with he Corey because so. we're we see that the 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 thing with Allison is implied. 
You know that if you survived an uh, attack by Michael Myers, You're and apparently you are, he came on, after yeah. your family, that you know, you've know you been in the news or something, and so that means that people have treated her differently. We have never seen this. I guess she True. seems to have her shit together. Yeah, because they yeah. skipped over all the healing and went straight to, like, our trauma's over now. Yeah, right. but I guess that's what this movie's plugging at, is that he, she just she never actually dealt with it. Maybe? Because now she and has then, an well, outlet through But then Corey. she also accuses... Jimmy Lee Curtis of also doing that, Which never this dealing with it was like again offensive. You know, yes. I was just sitting there going like, "Go fuck yourself." We have a scene where they're like, you know, it's great. Uh, the sun is shining and they're baking pies and you know whatever. And then I think like well, there's one other scene where where Corey comes over and then like the next scene that they're in together. Allison's like unloading on Lori about how like you never dealt with your shit with fucking Michael Myers and I'm leaving this town right. and all this other and you're like who is this person I've seen these other right. three movies. These other movies who is she who is she I know it's four years but, wait, but that, that doesn't give you an excuse to it's, just make these characters feel this way because you uh, they're trying to uh, it feels like they're trying to use that four year gap. As, to just like, explain, we like, yeah, we can yep. do, yeah, we right. can reboot it the It doesn't character. matter how they, you know, evolved over those four years. In reality, how they are, and we can do it. Both of her parents were murdered while she was a minor in high school yep. on the same night by, b- by the person that came after her grandmother right. and her friends. That meant like, crazy. yeah, and four years later, she we're supposed be in to, asi- yeah, in an asylum. I'm sorry, like, you're still going to be in an extremely intensive therapy at that point, and which that's is fine, why she goes after but Corey, yeah, she's yeah. not in her right fucking mind, yeah. But even this doesn't track, right? It's like, would you blame your grandmother? It's not like Michael Myers was coming after her, you know? So, right? This is there was yeah, no this reason. Is what they're trying to tell us in the first movie. Right. Yeah. It's like, it was it random. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's like, you fucked yourself. I mean, the logic implodes on this movie <laughs> really the more does. you think about like the reasoning behind it. Um, the radio tower. That's right. Oh, Here's that was another payoff. Back. This is for you two. The like yeah. fourth build character in this movie, the radio tower. In the second one, we were like, what, what, what is this? We were. The, you were. Yeah, there was a radio you tower, and I'm yeah, like, that's going to show up somewhere. Shots it. Because it looked like the shots of like the power structure in Halloween 4. You know, like they keep showing that the, oh, yeah, the yeah. transformer we're, or whatever. We're yeah, in buck. Halloween 4. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. yeah. They show it in yeah. the distance a lot. And so I'm like, is this just like a nod to Halloween 4? Or is this like going to be something? And Kyle and <laughs> had a theory about it. And then this well, Michaela, who knew they'd have a through line between at least two of the movies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> I mean, radio tower. a lot to ask. <laughs> but what does the ra- Okay, so the radio tower is set up in the second one. At least it's seen. And I was sitting there going, like, this is going to be a payoff to this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe in the third There'll movie. will be a fight on the radio tower or something. There, oh, there was wonderful. a fight on the, <laughs> yeah, the radio where station. the killer will get sucked up and then broadcast to all the... Oh, that's a different one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I apologize. At some point, it's on fire in this movie, and I'm not entirely How? sure why. After and why? why? Then, well, after he, you know, did... We'll get there. Yeah. So... <laughs> um, <get> quick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Let's... All right. Don't... Everybody stop looking at the clock. We will We will naturally end I this. I told you it was going to be well, a long episode. That's fine. So, um, Corey, right, <laughs> we have to get is all now... Feelings out. Because he's... Um, uh, he's considered i guess a, the, pariah. a monster right? yeah he in is the, a monster he's the child killer right that's what at least, that's what everybody or at least four band geeks think of okay him. okay but i have a theory <laughs> should we talk about the band geeks yes but i have a theory okay i have a the theory that people babies. don't actually hate him because he's a child killer they hate him because he's a grown man always drinking milk chocolate milk. <laughs> chocolate milk because when he's first babysitting the kid, he's drinking chocolate milk, mm-hmm. and we get a lot of close-ups of the chocolate milk in this movie. Yeah, or and at least we we are very aware of his decision. And then we go, milk. he yeah, when he goes to the gas station, he gets chocolate milk again, yep. and then the band geeks bully him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I he's mean, a twenty-five-year-old man. Yes. Yep. And these eighteen-year-olds are harassing him because they're like they're no eighteen-year-olds that exist. No. You, like wander around and just like to. I mean. And we did establish that they were from band or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. One of them is wearing the drummer's outfit. And one one of them literally says, we're band geeks. Like, they literally say, we're band geeks. Something, yeah. And they accost him. And Lori, like, shows up and is able to help him because he's unable to Because she's always like Batman cruising around patrolling the head. She she is. She is. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You sound so proud of her. She's on the lookout. And she feels sympathy for Corey. Um, And so they neighborhood watch. Sympathy for the devil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they deflate the bully's tires, you know. And so that lets lets Corey give into that influence. You know, his uh, his considering his his impulses. Yeah. Yeah. In hindsight. 
say, considering he works at a junkyard, bad idea to, to it would, slash your boy's It would tires. almost have been better if, he, if they had gone from that scene to the car showing up at the junkyard. Yeah, it would Just have. to drive that point home, but... Yeah. It's and Allison, like, because uh, he comes in to get treated for the wound that he suffers there, he gets cut in the he hand. He falls on his chocolate he milk He falls bottle. on his chocolate milk, <laughs> gets a huge wound. Jesus. Yeah. This, and is so a, she this is a big he's, wound. But he squeezes this bottle so hard it explodes. Uh, so is this us. hinting at oh, super strength? Anger. No, that's just h- hinting at his uh, it, unbridled anger and may snap. Okay. Right, which okay. are, which I'll take as super yet. strength. Well, I'm like, going he super kinda, strength. Th- there's kind of some super strength shit later, so that's why I'm like, I couldn't do it. Okay, yeah, well, I don't I think guess, I, don't, no. I don't think a normal human being can make a bottle explode in their hand. I don't like think so either. Oh, yeah, he can crush a bottle and make sure he can. Colin, Go for it, it Colin. Yeah. Okay. Right now, do I it. Dare. You're right. Maybe I couldn't with this one. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I'm, Colin not, is I'm not that angry man, though. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm not you Corey mad. Michael Myers uh, super no. strength. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So you're talking about you Michael Myers. Murder blood yet? Yeah. Mur- the, right. So where are we going with this? You're talking about superpower and murder blood and all this. And this is kind of what we were talking about. Oh, we have. Uh, there's there's a cop that Allison dated. I think we have to. Why is this D plot in here? Like, I, be, because it, it leads to the. Gr- we need to we need it to fill to a very with the movie fun with part incident. of this movie. But so she was like, okay, this guy's in his forties, right? <laughs> this cop. I think he's no, supposed I, to be in his twenties. No, he no. He looks like Glenn Danzig. He has crow's feet, Colin. He is not he's, in his twenties. He's in his. He's thirty five. <laughs> Generous. All right. I, well, he's in his late 30s, <laughs> mid to late 30s. She's we'll 22. Now, she's right? 22, 22 now, 22, and they were previously yeah, dated. Jesus. So he, right. was, okay. he was dating a teenager right. in his Which, 30s. At a certain point, you'd think after everything she went through, maybe she wanted the security of dating a police officer. Okay. That, was, that psychology, I think, maybe works out. Mm-hmm. So she dated him for a while, realized that he was like the rebound of mistake and cut it off. But uh, apparently, he's you know still interested. Mm-hmm. Felt that there was more there, so he pulls her over. He's like, pulls you over because you're cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we're like, okay, I I mean, we all we all we hate, hate him. Yeah. So we all he's going to get killed at some point. Yes. Like I get these movies, uh, how it's going to go? Yep. Yeah, we got to create people. <laughs> yep, that we want to kill because yes. also she gets passed over for a promotion by yes. the girl who's sleeping with the doctor in and the, the doctor's office. An asshole. He's an asshole. Everybody she's an asshole. Everybody's an asshole. Everybody's she's an asshole. Of, uh, you know, uh, just uh, uh, <laughs> I want to call her a bubble head, but that's not bimbo. A bimbo. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Just. Yeah. Yep. Um, I like Bubblehead though. Gonna... <laughs> Bubblehead. And yeah. so, <laughs> I um, well, I guess as Corey is, uh, you know, under a cloud, um, <laughs> he is accosted by these because uh, he can't stand up for himself. He, he does walk like he has a rain cloud. Yeah, yeah. Like, all he does. Time. He's con, con- <laughs> just shit. But <laughs> just shit. I mean, this is like you know, in order for Corey to, because this is where I guess where the movie's going. Corey is the main character of the movie, and so his yeah. arc is to he finds um you know like his his strength yeah. right uh to assert himself and yeah. to make decisions on where uh, yeah, he, he also he has, has a, a, a like a, just an overbearing comically the, written uh mom yes oh my gosh she's <laughs> Like a yes. Saturday Night Live character, it's yeah. wild. It's, it's cr- yeah, she should be G- Gilda Radner. Yeah, is this character. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, that is exactly what she it is. She only speaks at one volume, and that's yelling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, always. Uh, no, she speaks at the volume of nagging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's she feels just like she could be a Costanza relative. A caricature yeah. of yeah. like the horrible, overbearing she feels like mother. A Costanza, yes. Yeah. Um. So it's like, cr- his- and there's and there is more that is cut out of this oh, movie. Oh, Like yeah. a whole, there's a whole murder scene and whatnot, but. Yeah. What we yep. get well, this anyway, one, I think is enough. But he so the big turning point in his his character growth is one night the band geeks accost him and throw him uh over the aqua or a viaduct, right? Yeah, the over bridge, a bridge. Yeah. viaduct. Yep. Where they had no idea how far down that was. That's right. No. No and idea. He should have died or at least had some it broken seemed bones. Pretty, he pretty fell. far drop. Could have yeah. landed on his he head. He fell. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, well, bro. At the very least he has a concussion or something else. Yeah. But that boy turns is out. Down in this viaduct, there's a sewer opening, and that leads to Michael Myers. There's a homeless man. The yeah, guards in sewer ho- yep. opening. There's a right. warning. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Corey gets dragged away down a hole. Oh, yeah. So this is the thing. Like, the guy, yeah, yeah Corey lands and is knocked unconscious, mm-hmm. and apparently he's dragged away by, like, someone that we don't see. We're like, yes. oh, it's Michael Myers. Okay. 
Um, Obviously. And then we're like, but but why is Michael Myers dragging uh, this kid mm-hmm. into, into to eat him? Yeah, we're, yeah, right. Like yeah. Da- like it. You know, it's Pennywise. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's got a power I can't, up. I can't believe I've seen two separate movies from two separate timelines now where a homeless man <laughs> takes care of Michael Myers I, by yes. a river. Well, uh, right. Well, all right. But that's also, insane. That but this also, happened I've twice. seen the movie where apparently Michael Myers has a a, a plug in uh, stove. Where a rat was being cooked on. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, Yeah, so resurrection. Yeah, Yeah. we've seen a lot (laughs) as far as that. Right, but but this but for this trilogy to be like we ain't your mom is Halloween and then directly rip off. We this is the problem (laughs) we've had in the previous two episodes is that they say is that they say don't acknowledge those old movies, but then they constantly keep ripping off those old movies. That's the problem. I just love that he had appliances at one point. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) well that would make more sense because in this one when we're first introduced to him, forty minutes into the movie, he reaches. Uh, Corey wakes up and yes. wanders around in the uh, the sewer. Finds Miles stuck in a wall. <laughs> and I thought, I thought it that, looks like, like he's stuck, right? Yeah, it I thought like he stuck. was stuck down there for, yes. for like four years. That's my favorite thing. I it's thought he was like, like he was stuck in a crack. In Pirates of the Caribbean, how they grow into the ship like barnacles. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was like like. Uh, and carbonite, like now. carbonite, partially in the wall. Yeah, yeah. I thought like that was a cement going prison. On. That's cool. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what they, you know, because that's how I took it's it. Poorly shot. So I don't know what they actually meant. You know, so well, Michael that, Myers well, he just happened to be he was hot. peeking he, through a crack, he was hiding. I think my, he's got a, like a track he's he on. Just he's just hiding. He's got, he, uh, Michael Myers has a routine. <laughs> I have a feeling. It's like when you walk by a cat and it's hiding in a box and it starts and swatting right, at him. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Holly, thank I feel like you. Odin, no, he's a cat who does. Yeah, okay, he's okay. fine. He's hanging out and he's having a good time. He's giving himself a bath. But if you come near him, swatting at you. And apparently, we are told that there are missing people in this town. So apparently, Michael Myers. So we're saying missing. I bet that was cut footage. At the end of Halloween kills michael myers uh just kind of he he's like man the whole town's after me i'm gonna, I'm gonna wander bug off. out yeah to the sewer where i'm gonna hang out for four years and yep. just kind of chill and rely yeah. on this sewer. bum to take care of me i don't think the bum takes care of him the well, bum he, thinks he is michael myers at some point well, because the bum is possessed by the spirit of michael myers that exists in the town and you're going too people far well as an but they're, okay influence. but they're at least coexisting because he says far. people go in there all the time and don't come out he says yeah that's cool. so i think yeah. this so he's is keeping the, an eye on the goes situation goes to the billboards of the missing people yeah. eventually everyone goes missing and it's michael myers killing people and bringing them in why does michael myers kill people who go in there I, I, i'm wondering why he doesn't i'm wondering why we're four years later and michael myers hasn't Reemerged right until this point. Lori's fine with it, by the way. She's apparently, like, yep, yeah. Cool. Uh, after all, there, I, I don't know. Yeah, where he is. I couldn't it's deal fine. with the fact that he was locked up for forty years, but when he's loose, I'm fucking cool because yeah. I chose love. Because yeah, I chose, I chose sure, to be fine as yep. it's spray paint on like, some wall. That like. Holly, not to beat a dead horse here, but going back to what you said, that is like the most toxic thing ever to just just choose to be happy, guys. Yep. Just choose to get over yep. it. Like that's yeah. I can't believe a movie is like literally saying it that plainly. Like they, she literally mm-hmm. said, and I decided to choose love. Yeah. Well, because it, it goes what, back to what you're, you're saying talking, about the writing, Colin. It's yeah, just I mean, dog what, shit. what are you talking about, yeah. Michaela? That's the easiest way to fucking love get lives over today. Your, uh, love yep, lives today. It's written on uh, the the viaduct yep. wall. Yep. So I mean, he gets dragged in there. He's his life flashes before Corey's life no, flashes not before what, what is what is happening in this scene because I don't he's, he's going over it. everything that's happened to him at that point no. but is there what, like a, right, is there like a right, psychic Colin, connection happening yes is this what there has it, to be right is this right? what you want yes is this what you want I think it's there because you think it's the, there really, I, that's it's how all, I read it because I it's all it Corey connection. stuff it's all Corey yep Michael but Myers but who's seeing it so well what we're saying is there's a there's a how do we know that there's Okay, there, there, there's a shared moment here, right? Because Michael Myers looks into Corey's eyes. This yes. is what I believe. It's very romantic. But yes. And there is a flash, right, mm-hmm. where Corey relives because of the exposure to Michael Myers. He sees all these but, moments of uh, bloodshed and uh, fear. And But do like, we know that Corey's seeing that? I think Michael Myers, it's a shared thing. I think Michael Myers is seeing it yeah. and seeing in Corey. Right, so they're that this both seeing this. Yes. Okay. And I think Corey is also so it's amplified s- certain <laughs> specific things in in Corey's mind because after this, Corey is now activated. It, he's it feels got like his, he's clearer. He, yeah, he's he got knows, like I know I'm a killer. Yes. You know, and I'm yes. going to try this out because he feels like he does know that. Yes. Where Michael Myers is like. 
hey, buddy, I feel a kinship to you. And we should go killing people together. So this is a buddy cop. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Everybody needs somebody yeah. sometime. Yeah. Yep. Or yep. everybody's having a good time. What was the song from the the people on the train? Oh, everybody uh, but you. Er, yeah, everybody, oh, everybody's, everybody's got something to, to do. Everybody, everybody but, but you. you. Yeah. Oh my God. What was that movie again? A Night Train to Terror. Yeah, yeah, go check yeah, out that episode. Yeah. That was a fun one. Because what this? Because when I saw this in the movie, I was like, Oh no! Because it immediately brought back the Cult of Thorn. Yes. Uh, sure. You know, any like, sort of supernatural element. And the yeah. psychic connection to Michael Myers. C- and Cookie we're Woman. Like, yeah. And we're like. Are we, are we seriously doing this in yes. 2022? Yes. Wait, you said going those back, movies were dog shit? You said they were yes, shit, yeah. but you're going to do that in this? Like yeah. what? Because I don't know how else to yes. read it. Maybe yeah. you had a different read. I read it as Psychic happened. Connection. I read it as now Psychic Connection. Yeah. I'm good with Psychic Connection. Like, it, you're good I, with it? Yes. No, you're good with that's what they were... That's what they were trying to get across. What, uh, what uh, I'm trying to go back to think to because what exactly told- I thought when it first happened. I I thought no when okay when it first happened psychic connection okay they they were the same yeah. we are one of the same that yeah. is what I felt okay. and that's underscored by Lori because later when I saw that boy's eyes I saw yeah. the same thing that I saw in Michael Myers eyes we so have we're a like new okay version yep, I get of the evil and, and the yes. dad of the kid that was murdered yep. saw him and said that's there was no life it. in his that eyes. is yeah, yeah that is to make that's to the worst the fucking scene yeah the, it is, yeah I it's, understand <laughs> what it is because that is that is them exactly taking a, like a, a true crime element I've heard so many testimonies of people. From, who have been victimized someone in their family has been murdered or something like that and they always say and then I looked into the eyes of the person who did this and there was yeah. nothing there and like I the, did the, not the thing- see a person they're taking that true crime element yeah. and trying to drive that home in this part of the movie and the problem with that is that the person saying that like has a bias in the situation so it, of course well, they're going to feel he's got a way. bias yeah. and also the situation is ridiculous like I think you should talk to somebody. And then there's a turn to yeah. a pool junk, pool hall shark. Yeah. Like what? The setup is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to take what he's trying to say seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's, but this, yeah, is, the, if this is the couple who lost their kid when Corey was yeah. uh, babysitting. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. But yeah, the mom gonna... is like attacks him right yeah. at the, at right, the party. Yeah. Like Without you thinking. killed my son. After and the dad's years. like, no, I felt bad for him. He was, uh, you know, like he killed my kid, but they're, it was an accident. They're divorced, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Gotta be. Sure. But then after he went down in that subway tunnel, he was a different person. He didn't have a soul there. It was like kind of like what Lori's been talking about the whole time. The evil is a communicable disease yeah. that happens she calls in the an, like, an infection what, at this point. What would you expect the person who had their child die in the care of this person. They're looking into their eyes. Of course they're going to feel that way. Do you expect them to look into their eyes and be like, you know what? They seem like a really nice person, actually. It's just a shame they accidentally mm-hmm. murdered my son. No, of course they're going to feel like they're the devil. They took right. their kid from it. Like, it's yeah. just... And so like that whole scene on top of being just poorly done and stupid just doesn't add anything to the movie, you know? Yeah. I don't think yeah, it, yeah, especially it does, because the, it, it's it's underscoring something that we already got. It's, that Lori yeah, has we get it. Told us. Yeah. Plus, it's in a place where it's weird because yeah, the, the dance scene, the rhythm. Yeah, of it, it, yeah. Weird. 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 Yeah. So now activated, Corey becomes yes. activated. Uh, yeah, he is He's right. Activated. Yeah, because he he has a sense of purpose now, and his purpose is to, to figure a. He's like, I want Allison. Like he knows that. Like I he has a sense of purpose. I want Allison. Right. I feel and I we want have the shared thing. Yeah, because we're both outcasts, and I want to take her. We're gonna get out of Haddonfield. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> have you people have ever seen Badlands? This is all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's true. They're same go thing. On a, yeah. Same thing. He's yeah. trying. Yeah, because he does I tell wish, her that like right. I kill people, and she's not like uh, not okay with it. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. And then also. He wants to kill all the people who have uh, offended him yeah. in uh, Haddonfield. Because he is to do that. the burn it all down conversation that yeah. we yeah. get from them in the diner. Because he's, it's, I mean, it's an intense moment for him. And I think they meant it to be an intense moment of love because he is crying in this point. I think, I think they, like, this was like, you want to change our lives? You want to burn it down? Like, like, he wants to be like, let's be, uh, what's the movie? Um, um, 
Oh, the Killers movie. Uh, Natural Born Killers. Natural Born Killers. Oh. So, like he wants yeah, to be like Mickey and Mallory. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. he wants to be that. Yeah, like that is what he's going but, for. Like, this, this to me, like I would buy this kind of relationship and conversation a lot more if they were seventeen years old. <laughs> but he's twenty five, and I, th- he's, like I his, mean, he, it feels like he is emotionally stunted just yeah. based on the amount of chocolate milk he drinks. Yeah, yeah. well, that's true. <laughs> and yeah. I don't buy this again from her because she does have this loving and supportive grandmother. You know, got a I good know job, that, yeah. yeah. Her life is together. Right. Well, but she got passed over for that promotion. It's not like the skills that she have she couldn't take into another. But whatever. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, in order to achieve his goal of getting striking back at all the people who have hurt him, he's got to learn how how do you kill people. And in order to, to do that, he has to ask Michael Myers directly to his face. Show me how he does. Do it. And Show so me how he do brings it. him a victim, which is the uh, the fucking guy who's the trying fucking to, asshole cop who's yep. trying to date his girlfriend. Right. Who yep. he, he had the another encounter with yep. up to mm-hmm. this point. Brings him down into the sewer and tells Michael Myers, "Show me how to do it." And, and creaky Myers old Michael stand? Myers mm-hmm. has to like. Gets his shit beat out of him, but then he's able to get his secret, uh, you know. He's got his like, knife in the wall, yeah. and then he's got to pull out. He really stems. made himself a home, yeah. <laughs> he here. fucking powers up. He, he does. He literally, he says, like, power vibrates up, while he's powering up. That, that shit was... I love this. Really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> This is like Buster Rhymes fighting Michael Myers. I get it. I found it to be very it. cringy. <laughs> I, it was hard to go watch. for it. They fucking went for it. And he fucking stabs the dude. <laughs> and then he has a fucking orgasm. And he fucking powers up. And he's Michael Myers. If the, he, if, he goes from... Uh, no, he does. He goes from old. He can barely move in this scene until he stabs the dude. Powers up, and then he's fucking Michael Myers. If this was like, I no, can't, I couldn't believe they were doing it, and I, I loved couldn't it believe so it either. I oh, couldn't like, believe it, and I loved it. I'm like, they had the balls to do it. No, fuck no. yeah. If the entire movie was of the same kilt, then I would yeah, be yeah, down yeah, for yeah, it. I would be right. here for it's it. It's not. I it's agree. Not. This movie takes Which itself is why so I seriously. I love this scene because it's the only one that's just like. Fuck but yeah. this is like the hard ticket to Hawaii scene. Like we <laughs> yeah, it is. we need to somehow go back and watch this movie under the like. Oh, this is a terrible fucking movie, but it's hilarious yeah. because this watch is how I'm watch this, this movie. <laughs> this is Michael Myers juices himself yes. up mm-hmm. by killing people mm-hmm. because well, there's a basis for this because okay. in the last movie we were told that my, every time Michael Myers kills someone, he transcends. He transcends. Uh, yep. This contradicts. Everything that we're told in this movie, yeah. where you're just a man in the mask, right? You're just yeah. a man, and soon yeah. you're going to bleed. We build him up, and then we must break him down. And so how do you have these two opposing like points of view at the same time in your movie? Is he a supernatural creature, or is he not? The visual elements mm-hmm. tell us that he is a supernatural being, yeah. because he powers up when he kills people. And he has psychic connections. Right. And then Corey... <laughs> I think also powers up when he starts oh, he killing people. Oh, yeah. Because he has the Christine transformation. Yes. And it, well, it's he, it's he ripping finds, off that movie. Yep. He and becomes cool and not nerdy anymore. There was a scene that maybe it dispelled it for me, but there was a scene. So Corey and Michael Myers become a tag teaming murder duo. <laughs> yes. Going out with something I've always wanted to see from yes. a Halloween movie. I've always wanted to see Michael Myers with a murder and a buddy. And sidekick, yeah. Yep. You know what? Because I have Batman seen means it is Robin. <laughs> that makes it new and shiny. New and you're shiny. You're like, it's great. To Love it. This. At one point, Corey, <laughs> and the only reason that I can understand that these shots exist in the movie, right? <laughs> Corey kills the fucking doctor. He does. And it's when um, when it's properly viewed, you can see it in the background, which is I think is very scary when um, in the moment when she walks out and it's dark and you can't see anything. But you see like a, a rumble going on in the background. And then it's revealed that he's like fucking stabbed. Next to the, the pool neck. that's open in yeah. October, in Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. He's yeah, having, he's right. having Michaela, the affair with the, at yeah. this point. <laughs> uh, but he, so he kills the doctor. Okay. And then Michael Myers kills the, uh, yes. the bubble headed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for continuing that. There I you love go. that. She's bullhead. <laughs> and so both of them get, they get juiced off of this they is do. what we're getting. But the thing, okay, up, the, the shots that we see are Corey like 
r- ripping the bandages off the hand. Which I did not catch the first time I watched this. I'm glad you pointed this because out, Because it's so fast, and it leads to nothing. But, but, and it's then fast, but they keep the cutting it back, and yeah, and then he puts his hand up on the glass. And the like impression, he's feeling right, but from the film language, is that he is juiced up from murdering that he's healing. Yeah, he has Wolverine powers now. Kind, yeah, well, yeah, kind of. Or, or at the very feeling, least, he doesn't the feel it because he, he doesn't adrenaline. feel it. But yeah, but I, mean, I suppose that's what, how you could read it because later there is a scene where he's still got the stitches and he's infected and yeah. all that. So it kind of diffuses this idea. But I'm like, what are they shooting? What is the I think intention he's feeling of the those? Murder in his hand. As Michael murders, he's feeling it in his oh, hand. Oh, is it like Harry Potter, Potter it, though, how he because, can feel Voldemort yes, with the yeah, scar? But, yeah, he can feel, the, but yes, the scar the comes from can, the injury that he suffered the from milk. the... Yeah. Yeah. Um, the scar means nothing. The scar that's is the what I'm saying. You're not, injury, you're, not, you're, not, you're not tying, as a filmmaker, no, not no, tying yeah. those, that no, no, theme it, together. No, it's just a, 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 a power feeling. Yeah, so the only thing that I read it as is he's healing because he's killed people. Interesting. He's well right now. Yeah, because Michael Myers, as we know, can take bullets and I'd never thought of the healing part of it i just thought they were sharing no what i, I thought they, they were, were sharing moment. i think yes i think they were sharing the, the experience moment. of the murder is what he's feeling right there i i didn't but he uh, takes the, the bandage off uh, yeah. and puts that hand up on the window i don't know i think it's just i don't, I don't know what that means i just feel like they're sharing the moment <laughs> literally, literally like they are sharing the joy you're doing murder. so many mental gymnastics i don't i don't think movie. so not for that part i don't know i can't explain why the unwrapping he has to do that before i don't yeah because we're saying that the filmmakers are at a deficit here where they're not giving us enough information to make it clear to the audience yeah. one way or another what we're actually that's the problem with the movie of. as a whole yeah so Lori knows something's up though because she doesn't yeah, like her granddaughter he seeing mom. this guy she visits his mom, which yep. doesn't lead to anything good because she's very, very overbearing, overbearing, just just does not want anyone messing with her child. Nope. Except and for her. Yeah. 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 Very stereotypical, just loud and uh, having a problem right off the bat. For and no she reason. kicks him out of the house for what? Dating. Dating. Yeah. With a girl. Yeah. Because she's trash. But he's somehow. 24. Five years because she's that girl who was involved with those murders, and I don't want that around. Well, my your house. son's also yeah. a murderer, so you yeah. know. Granted, she doesn't know that at the time that it, you know he's yeah. actually the. So, but Lori can sense the evil uh, again—a supernatural uh, occurrence in this plot where she somehow knows that Corey is the new Michael Myers. Mm-hmm. Corey at some point, thank God, because I've always wanted to also see this in a Halloween movie mm. because it, it seems David Gordon Green and Danny McBride try to do this all the time. People are always trying to take Michael Myers' mask off <laughs> and wear it. Yep. In yeah. a kind of a, like, it's if I put the mask on, because I guess the movie does set up that if you, and all three of them do this, if you take Michael Myers' mask off, if you ha- hold it in front of him, it makes the inmates crazy. If you take it off, he loses a little bit of power. So there is power yep. in this mask, yes. they, this rubber fucking Halloween mask. Yeah. He use it as bait to get him to come out in the street and at the end of kills. And he'll follow that thing around because the only reason he ends up at, at Lori's house in this is because he was following that mask yep. around. He wasn't yep. following Corey. He was, no. he was like, I want my mask back. Yeah. And, well, no, that's it. <laughs> that is how it. terrifying an old man that wants his mask back. Yep. Like, that's it. That's why he called Dr. Sart. Tarian yeah. Sartain, Sartain because you uh, know what the for name a ride. Is. because yeah, he wanted his fucking mask yeah. back. That's it. Um, but if you take the mask off, he loses power. If you put the mask on, you have his power. Corey figures this out. Yeah. And, uh, and he's like, so he's you're just go an old man mask. in a mask. But if I take the mask, I have your superpower. And so he does and becomes Michael Myers for a portion of this movie, which I was sitting there going like, fuck you yep. you know yep. I mean, was, yep. see i like this so why does he fan. try to kill Lori? well look, well, all right before yes. before we get to there like what is he up to so he does you go and he goes and wrestles michael for his mask this is the comedic back and forth yep. in the sewer tunnel but he does get it and who are the first people that he decides to take his anger out on what's the doctor on, the on a nurse. chance just because no, the they decide to, to drive to the 
to the, the band geeks, the junkyard, to the junkyard. Yeah. In, but they offended only because him. of that. They offended yep. him. But the band geeks sort of the junkyard, mm-hmm. and so he is going to be there for his victims. And d- his mom is somewhere in here in a quick his, in a quick moment. Yeah, in a quick. We don't even also, see it. Yeah. No, it's it, there's a lot more in the mm-hmm. deleted scenes. I think it would have been a better like because she seems like she tried to kiss him. Or she did kiss him. Mm-hmm. Like she loves her boy. She kissed him too on much. the lips too much. On the lips at one point. Mm-hmm. To see her death from him would make more sense based mm-hmm. on the story we've mm-hmm. set up, but it skipped over real quick. Yep. No impact or no reason nope. or whatever, no. so but character... we know that she's killed. Yeah. Uh, the dad actually seems to, or the adopted dad, or the stepfather, yeah. seems like he's a decent guy, right? Yes. And, he's and, just trying to watch Hard Target with his cat. And he wants, he, he also gives Corey love. Yeah. The, the bike, yep. you know, he's yeah. like, I know you've been dealt a hard, you know, yeah. uh, uh, blow by life, but... You know, I hope you find love. I hope you do. He's like all like, He's you know, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I and like then him. you get like. He's the only not asshole in this movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to go with you're correct. He yeah, is yeah. the only non asshole yeah. in this movie. Yeah. Because yeah, no, even Allison man. is an asshole. She in a is. Lot of, they um, ruined her. What little they had of her, they ruined her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the dad, but they were very careful. I think the writers, right? Because they, they didn't have Corey kill the dad. There's the impression yeah. that he's going to, because he's dressed as Michael Myers. He's holding the mask mm-hmm. yeah. and he's Which dressed as Michael Myers. All wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they one of the kids all accidentally kills the dad, which absolves Corey of that murder. Yes, mm-hmm. which, okay. Mm-hmm. I think maybe the only thing, the good, good thing that comes out of this is the, I enjoy the torch kill. Yeah, it's good. It's I think it's good. It's just, I, it's I enjoy the corner this. Of the I, frame. I, I'm uh, pro Corey dressed up as Michael Myers, which I know is like the line. What? People. Yeah, no. Why? I'm, uh, because I I like that that he is he is the next one to do this. That he puts on the mask and then he did you see Friday can, the Thirteenth Part Five? Right. Yeah, I did. that's what I was gonna say. Roy, Roy the movie. Yeah. That's your point. Did you like the part where it ended where like the Friday possibility 13th, was that Tommy Jarvis would become the next Jason? Yes, we get rid of I'm Jason. Fine with it. Really? So you were like, I don't really need Jason in my Friday the Thirteenth. Colin, it, it, I, I, I don't have those thoughts on this because I didn't view that series. I think there's certain. I didn't view it as it was coming out. I don't think I could have those. Gotcha. Thoughts so you about probably knew about five, it, right? Because I knew that they didn't go that way. Gotcha. So uh, I couldn't have right. those thoughts. That makes sense about that because I'm like, I already know where they go. But then this one, you're like, well, the future hasn't been written yet. As we, right? As this, the Terminators yeah. say, yes. On the 13th movie, yeah. the future has not been <laughs> so, written. So uh, I mean, Halloween they could movie, have had. Yeah. It. So as you're watching this, it's very possible that we're going to get rid of Michael Myers in the Halloween movie because he's an old man. And we're going to replace him with we a got, young man. We have to do something. We have to. Yeah, you can just stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, in a, in, <laughs> right in a world where I'm like, yes, do that. Stop making the movies. Mm-hmm. They won't. So I'm looking at that because they're not going to stop making these movies. So right. if we keep doing it, let's get adventurous. Okay, well, that, this is this where is they were. This is where they're going. They're well, going. I'm like, okay with that. I like it. But so you just want because something called Halloween with a guy wearing that mask. It doesn't really matter who he is, as long as he kills people with the knife. I think we could turn it into a scream type thing. But you well, have that's a whole other problem because for I, another day. Well, yeah, yeah but um, because I think that is kind of a thing. that's not We're Halloween. Like, that's scream. Then, yeah. then you have then you have to stop. Yes, you have to stop, yeah. or you have to make a movie that's ho- that. Well, it's, it's that's what I was Halloween. saying. It's what I was saying earlier in the episode. You only have two options. You have to expand on this universe, which always feels dishonest because it's such a thin universe of Star Wars. I, I feel or like, you yes. remake the same movie over and over again. That's the only mm-hmm. options you have with this. Yeah, or mm-hmm. yeah, or you, you know, if and you they all suck. So so you either have to keep remaking it or find different avenues for these characters if you want to keep going mm-hmm. to do different things. Mm-hmm. This is these characters doing. I, I agree, it's way different things. But it's these characters doing different things, and I'm my, for it. My problem is more macro than that. My problem is more, regardless of how I feel about this quote unquote trilogy, it doesn't yeah. function as a trilogy. That's my biggest issue. It's, with this. It it's, is, because and of, it feels there's insulting. No, like, through line, yeah, yeah. And right. And, we, and we've all discussed payoffs, like so. yeah. to to release this movie as the third mm-hmm. in this trilogy, getting up to this point mm-hmm. is. Cr- I, I also agree, it's crazy mm-hmm. to have this movie be mm-hmm. the last one. Right, that's nuts mm-hmm. as far as storyline goes and what we've built up to and everything. Especially because yeah. we this Corey character did not exist until this movie. For, yeah, that's insane. Yeah, like, it is. It's a lot. It's mm-hmm. like they made three. 
different movie. This is why I still kind of think of uh, related to the Star Wars mm-hmm. trilogy. Yeah. Because they yeah. do so, it's so weird. It's like they had no plan going through, really, and they mm-hmm. just made them. Mm-hmm. But so when, after he, after he does the junkyard kills and kills his mom and he goes to Lori's house, why is he going to Lori's house to kill her? What is his motive to kill her? Because well, this like, is a weird, yeah, but this is a very strange. I this mean, is, the setup yeah. to this is kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lori thinks that Allison hates her, mm-hmm. right? Which yeah. is, again, against both of their characters, but okay. And so Lori. Yeah, they do have a little fight before so that, the, yes. But the scene is set up that, like, Lori's so depressed that she's going to kill herself, right? Yep. She's going to, she's got nothing left to live is for. She? That's the way it's played. Yeah. And yeah. I think a lot of but, audience members may have been, I mean, I don't know. I sat there going, well, clearly this is a ruse. Yeah. I know who yes. Lori is. But. You know, it's set up and played that way. But if it's a ruse, how does she know? Right. That's the problem. How yeah. does she know? Because no one she would know. doesn't know at this point that there is someone out there. She doesn't know that there are any murders happening. No. Michael no. Myers has been out of the picture for four years. So and she's she, moved on. But, right. And she hasn't seen him. Yeah. But she yeah. has sensed the evil. In Corey. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so she knows. She is worried about Corey. Yeah, this is what the movie is saying. The movie is saying that. If she is despondent and in despair and going to kill herself, that somehow the evil will (laughs) recognize this and come to her house. And so she's laid a trap so she can confront the evil. And so I think she thinks that that is Michael Myers who comes in and she's like, did you think I was going to kill myself? Bam, bam, bam. I, I think she thinks that was Michael Myers. I agree. But why? Yeah, I don't know. But why is he Does coming to kill know? Lori? Why? Because she wants to stop him and Allison from being together. Yeah. So he's anybody. But why, anybody but why is Michael Myers coming to kill him? Yeah, she thinks it's she, my, oh, Michael Myers. We have no, a, He wants yeah. his mask back. Yeah. But she doesn't know but that. She, yeah. yeah. What? Well, yeah. What would she know at this point? Because it's not like it's this been is, announced. This is Michael Myers like- is back. We wouldn't know anything. It's no. a total. This is my problem. It's a total. Like, how? What do you know? Why would you sit there? Because can you imagine it's the, the same behind problem this? I had with Wild Things? You don't know who knows what when. Can you imagine her sitting there fumbling with a pumpkin and a gun? She's like, all right, I'm gonna blow this gun, this pumpkin's brains out onto this door. Yeah. Just to make that's you what think she I did. Die, yeah, because I know you're you out in the hallway. You know, it's like, like what, it's the, it ridiculous. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, to but, what you think, to what happens, it doesn't. It doesn't Makes check out. Anyway. Yeah. So Corey takes three bullets to the chest. Is fine. It's the shoulder. It's the shoulder. He's got he's murder fine. blood. He killed like four people. Yeah, he's uh, powered he's up. Powered he goes up. over the railing like the and kid. He kicked over the railing. Yeah. Yes, there's After the symmetry. After being shot and is totally okay. Yep. He's conscious enough to have a conversation, even though there's a lot of blood on the floor. Yes. And she shoots the remaining bullets into the ceiling, and then Why? at the end of her monologue, checks the gun for more bullets. Remember yeah, we like, so we were like yeah. you just sh- you just like, showed right. him you cleared the chamber right and they have a talk what the fuck and which is I thought we could this ending for the Corey character if we're gonna make him what he was I don't think this ending is any good for this character but he ends up uh, they end up having like a uh, they talk it out <laughs> but he's like uh, ends up being as in regards to Allison he's like if I can't have her and then he stabs himself in the neck. Mm-hmm. And then Al- the timing is fantastic because then Allison walks in and Jamie Lee Curtis has the knife in her hand mm-hmm. and she's and the whole thing comes together. She's like, you just hated Corey. There was nothing else. <laughs> why would she believe that, though? Yeah. Right. Why would she believe why her? Would she why would she believe, believe grandmother is capable of? That, well, right. can, we, can we back it up just a little bit? Yes. Because this is this is a continuation of a scene where Corey is kicked out of his house by his mom and goes to the scene of where the little boy died. He goes back sleeps, to the abandoned sleeps house. Sleeps on the blood stain. Sleeps, yeah, on, the sleeps bu- on the blood stain. As you do, because that's the, where he was born, yeah. right? Yes. That's the new incarnation of Corey. He was born there. And he wakes up, and Jamie Lee Curtis is there and talks in these pronouncements of uh, fate and uh, the nature terms. of evil yes. and how you can welcome it in. And I hate these. <laughs> And all, oh, it's terrible. I hate, it's terrible. It's I hate terrible. These. But the question is, because Corey is like, am I a bad person? Are you a bad person? You know, it's like, is it our fault? And, you know, all this other shit. And the question is, is Jamie Lee Curtis actually there? Or did Corey, because he's a psycho now. Apparently he wasn't before, but he encountered Michael Myers. Now he's a psycho. Is he having a vision? Because 
Jamie Lee Curtis suddenly disappears. Corey goes wandering around the house, and there's like no way apparently that she could have got in there. So it's like, was she even there? Was I, he talking to us? <laughs> like, was he just having a conversation with himself? I think this is why this movie lasts. These are the questions people will be asking yep. themselves. Yeah. Maybe because then he years. calls Alice and he's like, "Your grandma wants to kill me." Yeah, and Alice is like, right "You're crazy. What are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah. And then when why she is goes, she's nuts. But yeah. then when to she, listen to anything yes. this man is well, saying, yeah, yeah, it, I didn't believe is. any of that. But But then she goes over to the house, and sure enough, it looks like Jamie Lee Curtis has killed him. It's so (laughs) unbelievable that she should not be with this man who shows up at her house and is like, I think I've done something wrong. And the... the, the no, no one acts like a normal she, human she being. Is, uh, yeah. But uh, did you guys notice in that scene when Jamie Lee Curtis was like monologuing at him, there was like a weird audio stutter when they cut between like two angles and in her like speech, it sounded like they edited around something in like mm-hmm. a weird, like, mm-hmm. like, you know, in uh, TV trailers when they cut out the fucking between words and it's like mm-hmm. a weird pause. It was a thing like that for like a second. And I was like, I, I wonder they what they the cut fucking. out. Oh, there's yeah. a couple scenes so all- where I, I thought there was something extra missing. Yeah. Oh, but- there was yeah, a lot because, of bad. Oh yeah. Him. Based on just based on trailer stuff, because there is a lot, a more, lot in the trailer. That's not here. There is. There's a lot more conversation between him on the stairs and Jamie Lee hanging out. Mm-hmm. They have more of a thing where they talk well, about was the that whole scene, uh, stuff. There was a pumpkin carving scene that was straight up, not in this movie at all. Oh yeah. Where we talking about showing grief, your tits. Yeah. Well, no, that, well, that. that. but no, there oh, was that Jesus. scene of the, of, it was Lindsay, Allison, and oh, were they all walking? They were out? all walking yeah, out, yeah. holding the Which pumpkins. I think was the yeah. end of that, the grief tip yeah. scene. See, yeah. this always makes me think that, like, you know, vulgar the, grandmas are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I hated that also. Yep. But I mean, oh. like, when you have a lot of that, it's like uh, you know, scenes that are, that seem to be missing. You can feel that they cut around stuff. It's like this is a movie with no clear sense of purpose, direction, or whatever, and they're just like, we'll overwrite it, and then we'll cut it. And we'll make the movie in the editing room. I, I think, you know, yeah. it's like these are not. This right. is not a good direction. They're not no. not well directed, not well written movie. No, they're like they, just put it, it together. Can't be because the purpose you said is we'll put together. Put yeah, together and they later. know yeah. that mm-hmm. like it really doesn't matter, guys, because it's got Halloween. It's called Halloween. It doesn't have to be. And good. people and are going to go. It's see Halloween it. ends. It's the last one yeah. of this yeah. trilogy. Yeah. Cash everyone registers. Will, everyone has to ringing. know how it ends, so they will come. Yep. We put ends in it just to make sure. Yeah. So she crucifies him to a butcher block table. Allison comes in. Oh, just the perfect time to well, break his arm. Well, well Michael Myers shows up. Yes. Uh, now <laughs> in the, the because Wait, we how have far to are we? have yeah, we're very far. <laughs> we have to have the confrontation. I, I try it. We still have a mailbag Michael, and wrap up some trying yeah. to move it along so, here. No, yeah. that's fine. It's but fine. I know. It's but fine. you kind of jump to like. So but Corey it's just is funny that now the Michael, movie. Michael Myers shows up. Michael Myers shows up because we have to have the 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 Lori versus Michael Myers scene that we've been promised right. by the that idea that the, Halloween ends. That was the only advertisement for this the movie trailer, was those two fighting. Corey was not in any trailers, right? Nope. No. Because I did not see that kid's that. face not once. once. They nope. hid that from you. Not yeah, once. it was all the Lori Michael yep. stuff. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because they knew that's what you wanted to see. Yeah. And they're like, and ah, I got you. Now like, that you're who the fuck is this Corey guy? Now we're going to entertain you with a new movie. That's crazy that they would do that. I love Kind of love it. And uh, you're being Stockholm by this movie, man. <laughs> Michael Myers is, yeah, as you said, uh, overpowered by uh, elderly love. Laurie Strode. Yeah. Uh, but she can't do it by because that you're just a man in a what, mask. What, but soon you're going to be a man who's going to bleed or whatever or the fuck she's she going to stop she, breathing and she cuts yeah. his throat. Yep. And then, uh, but that's not good but enough. But then she split, he splits his, his, his knife down hand to Ugh, choke her. That was gross. And then we get a recap of every experience she's ever had in Halloween. Yep. Visually. I hated that. Yep. Hated it. I didn't greatest like Greatest hits. Lori's greatest yep. hits. Here we right. go. Look at how much suffering she's had at the hands of this right. man. And, and then her. build up the. Yes. Then her daughter comes in and I, I laughed so hard. It's like a WWE moment. This. Yeah. She comes in and she's like, no. And she grabs it. And she breaks Michael Myers' arm. She like picks it up yeah. and slams it down. It's the funniest because thing. Yeah. I mean because we established in the first movie it takes three exactly three women to take down Michael Myers, uh, and by now it's two women in a refrigerator. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, uh, good uh, standing for a woman as a That woman got recast as a fridge. <laughs> yep, poor Judy Greer. <laughs> you need three. <laughs> poor Judy Greer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got replaced with a fridge. Been alive and come. <laughs> I had so much better thoughts for Judy Greer in this. I Justice thought, for I Judy Greer. I legitimately said that like she's not. Dead. Dead. they wouldn't kill her i'm just like yeah they well, did. Uh, all right now we go back i'm like what a fucking 
uh, uh, travesty for that character to yeah. die that way, yep. to not get after what she did, to not get a come. Yeah. I thought we were going to get another, the third and final gotcha for this movie because she gets one in the first one. She uh. gets one in the second one. I thought we were going to get a, like, oh, she's alive and get her come back in this one. You had high hopes for this movie. I had high, because I like Judy Greer. I had high hopes. <laughs> she should be in better movies. Yeah. Oh, she's just I was getting that bag. Upset. Good for her. She got out. Well, the movie's basically over once they slit Michael Myers' throat and let him bleed what out on it? the table. No, no, because it's proved it? to the whole town that this no. movie's no, over. No, because, yeah, the whole town is suffering. Because this, this is a totally normal way to handle something. Right. A town who hasn't heard anything about this for four years yeah. is now heavily invested in this parade. Well, how, because of how Halloween know- Kills, man, he fucking, the uh, evil dies tonight. How he, did they, they beat the how shit did out of him. Okay, still- how, how did they make they- this announcement? Who were there people going down the street? Did I imagine that, it's like a tornado siren. They have like a Michael Myers siren. Do they, I feel like that's how they got these people there. But okay, I would agree. how do they know that this is actually Michael Myers? Because wasn't the whole thesis of the second movie is that you never like be oh, careful with your mob mentality. You might kill a, somebody else. Yeah, this, this is just some old white dude for all they know. We're going to kill this guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. he's already dead. I guess they dead, just take the mask. They parade his body through town. The entire town uh, uh, parades behind he's it. He's tied to the top of a car. Yes. Yes. And they take him to the junkyard and feed him to the <laughs> scrap metal thing. And they they, do. Yeah, he busts he him up pretty good. He's dead. Ground up. He's coming back. Is dead. But. Like, could you just imagine, Colin, you work in news. You, know, you guys have all worked in news. Imagine you're post- publishing a story <laughs> about a small town that got mob <laughs> justice on their local serial no, 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 killer we, and paraded you know, his corpse no, through the town. Halloween, no, Haddonfield's never... Secret. This is a town secret. This is no the one shit that breeds know. your Freddy Kruegers and all that no shit. I, I'm ever. just saying, this like... This is evil. where we get the ghost yeah. of Michael Myers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just no saying, imagine us know. coming down to record an episode and before recording, like, you guys hear about that fucking town? I would. That would be fucking great. That had that serial killer body paraded through downtown. I'm not saying that I want shit all in on it because all of us collectively are like, this is how we're going to deal with so we're just not going to tell anybody. I'm just saying the people in Smith's Grove they're like what the fuck is going on up in Hanfield? But every now and again I go we haven't had a good serial killer lately. (laughs) I will will say that. I don't want anything bad to happen to everybody but they've all been ground up in the the junkyard. Yeah. Yeah. And then but even then, because then Lori has found peace finally at last, and yeah, Allison, I'm sure, is going to be uh, fine, you know, with her grandmother. And then we're treated to a couple of shots at the end of the movie where it's like, okay, you know, it's nighttime, and we've just, you know, obliterated this guy's body, <laughs> and everybody who was ever in a Halloween, the the three, the trilogy, shows up. Um, and then we're treated to shots from inside Lori's home that yeah. end on the shot of her workstation where she's writing the book, right? I can't remember. I think there was a little bit of uh, of narration there, and it ends. That's the last it's shot. A, of the movie. It's about evil Nearly. changing shape. It's like yeah. Sex in the City, which is the. <laughs> they have a lot of ideas in this movie that they don't know what to do with in a good way. Because I I see them and I like it when she's writing the book about how. Because she wants to end it just like evil does all this, but sometimes it doesn't die. It just changes shape, which is a good ending for a movie where they called him the shape the entire time. And the idea of evil, evil changing shape just because you killed it doesn't mean it's gone. It can change shape into something else, mm, I, I, which could be a theme for the movie. But that would be Corey going to the idea. Yeah. And, but I'm that, talking about ideas that are not yeah, in this not, movie that yeah. I'm thinking of. I, yes. I just don't like any version of that idea. I don't the think, only yeah. way I like that is if he's now a ghost in the yeah. next movie. Well, again, there's a lot. And now we've got the haunting of Michael. He's Myers. like possessing right. people. Yeah. I'm with that. But yeah. yeah. And we're going to go down that road yeah. and we're going to go all in <laughs> and then I can get back on board. There you go. Yeah. Okay. We have found a Halloween movie. Found a way yeah. in for Holly. Then they become like yep. ghost stories and haunt and like yeah. I'm haunted, 100% yeah. It. I'm sure yeah. the young adult novel series Halloween whatever at <laughs> some Michael. point is done. Yeah. Oh, all, I, all I'm saying is that if just get ridiculous with it. Yeah. Send him to Manhattan. No. Come on. Okay. No, okay. okay. No. Okay. You're That's agreeing with him. This movie for me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No. Yes. No. This it's is not, it. It's not separate enough. You're probably right. Yes, but <laughs> I need it to we're be almost there. Ridiculous. But why You're probably even right. call it? Uh, Not okay. half ass. You want to call <laughs> oh. the ridiculous? Funny how, it's funny how we got to the end of the movie like, and we, I, st- we have <laughs> nothing. Nothing I, has been. Concluded. I think You're Halloween, Halloween Resurrection goes ridiculous enough. That movie goes head first into ridiculous. I think we, yep. But we wanted this one. And Buster Rhymes had I to find the glow, so he, he did could find the glow. 
yeah. you know, unleashes kung Ooh. fu yeah. oh, man, on Michael done. Myers. I think we're done. I okay, think that's okay. it. Well, I think yeah, we've gone. All right. I think we've reached the end. Well, thank you for sticking with us this long. Uh, we're going to tell you individually what we thought of the movie and whether or not we would recommend that you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's going to recommend it. Uh, yeah, is that a sp- just yeah. so it's not freak show unapproved. Yeah, that's right. So, but first of all, we're going to read the holdout. Some of your mail, and in order to do that, we're going to summon our mailman, and his name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. <laughs> Michaela's like Igor right now. Just like, here, here's the snack. I'm just delivering the <laughs> Everyone eats. <Yeah. laughs> All right, well. It does, Igor, Igor looks like he's been through that machine at the end of this a couple times. Yeah, yeah, no, well, all like of his body to parts are, up for sure. himself back together. Yeah, and somebody sewed them all back up. Um, well, we should let you know how uh, you can participate in this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie, Halloween Ends. <laughs> Movie I, bacon. You're starting with this one, so it feels like a lot of people had something to say. Well, it's tonight's movie. Movie bacon. I movie love bacon. movie bacon. Movie bacon. Movie bacon writes in and says, oh, no, you guys didn't deserve this. Oh, <laughs> I, I, well, I thank agree. you. Thank you. <laughs> Travis Legler says, I was on my hands and fucking knees praying to God you guys would somehow end up reviewing this movie. Out of the big three horror, Halloween is my least favorite, oh, but yeah. I love listening to you guys talk about them. It could have been worse. Could have been Halloween 3, the TV cut. I'm beyond oh. grateful that this movie was chosen and having a feeling I'll end up ho- owning owing Holly a drink and a dinner for being one of those that voted for this. Uh, Let see, the ranting continue on this franchise. You owe me a these lot people, more. They, they write in. <laughs> They're just like, I have these feelings, but then we get down to it. They voted for it. They voted it's for like, it. like, I'm very sorry. I would never watch this. I voted for it. Yep. I wanted to and make he, you suffer. Yeah. I watched it. We knew you were going to suffer. Richard Kratzer. Wait, hold on. How did Okay, but they gave us three that? really good movies this month, too. He said he was on his fucking knees praying to God that we'd review it. Next sentence. Uh, Halloween's his least favorite. Uh, oh, oh, the big three. Talking about, so what, big three. Are, I want, what are the big three now? Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, the and Halloween. Halloween. Are those the big three? Yep. Yeah. This is okay. his least favorite. Uh, Richard Kratzer says Halloween ends as Grease 2 meets Christine. <laughs> Oh my god! I see a little bit of grease too. You take that back, you motherfucker! There's uh, a lot. Of, there should be if there were more singing. Honestly, high school, if I'd they did a Halloween right. musical, I would love the shit out of that. <laughs> oh god! Uh, oh, Jacob no. Law says I liked it, but it should have been all Corey. Probably. I mean, I think that's it's, just like we need to talk about Kevin. Right. You know, like <laughs> yeah. Uh, Militime 86 says this film was horrible. I feel it did its best to kill the franchise. Michael Myers is my favorite horror icon, but he was barely in half of it. Danny McBride and good David Gordon Green should probably stick to comedy. Preach. Yep. Adam Kaler says, I think ends was better than kills, but yes. barely. It seems like they were yeah. playing up a potential supernatural menace to Michael and kills that didn't pay off, except apparently he can look longingly into someone's eyes and turn them into a serial killer trainee. <laughs> I do like that they tried to definitely kill off Michael, but he has to come back because the series is due to go to space. It just seems like mm. they didn't have a solid plan for the trilogy. Freak show, Haddonfield Charter. Can you think of a final chapter in a franchise that managed to nail the ending? H2O. Because I've heard Sean has seen every sequel. Well, the final, this is the H2O doesn't count. I know. Aww. It did at the time. Um, Michael's remains from this movie end up getting shot into space. I don't know how. Um, we've talked about uh, off mic that um, Evil Dead is probably like one of the best franchises. Yeah. So Army there's of Darkness not a bad one. That, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's, that nails it. And uh, I mean, even if you're counting the 2013 one, I that's good. That's great. I yeah. they have a great track record so, so let's far. Hope that Evil Dead Rise doesn't yeah. fuck it up. I. Mm, nope. I was going to say scream, but I was like, no, I actually don't like where any of that ended up going. Final so. chapter that managed to nail the ending. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Wait, third the movie. Return of the Jedi is pretty good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's not the best of them, but, no, like, but it's, it's, but it's better a good than ending. a lot of movies. Yeah, 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 it is an ending. It's a bad rap. That's a good movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nelson, Nelson Nascimento says, what do you guys think? <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys General? think, say, had 80% <laughs> 
of this storyline been the beginning of the stepping off point to begin the trilogy instead of the capper? Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. That's yeah. What, yeah. We were yeah. talking about how they're out of order. It was just yeah. like this was the first one. Yeah. Michael Whitaker says when Colin expressed his frustration about Halloween movies during the best of the year episode, <laughs> I understood that frustration all too well. I have a very similar feeling about superhero movies and this recent trend of trying to do everything else but superhero stuff in them. If I'm ever tired of CGI superhero battles, I'll watch something else. Same with Halloween. If I ever tire of Michael Myers killing teenagers, I'll watch something else. You're talking yeah. to Colin. That's how I agree. That's how I feel too. Uh, Joey mm-hmm. Blythe says, oh no, it's Friday the 13th part five the fake jason but it's fake <laughs> michael instead i still think laurie strode should have died removing all Agreed. doubt when she had been what she had been saying was true anyway anyhow it was still better than kills and how what did the stupid town mistake danny devito for michael <laughs> well and like okay so because he was in taxi yeah okay oh so even so even if Michael's dead and the whole town saw it in this movie, are they still going to blame her? Are they going to be like, you killed a man with brain damage? Like, I know. like right. where does Lori's does story change? go after this? It doesn't change anything for her. Man, do they still want to? I don't know. Mm-hmm. The whole ending Yeah, like, just makes like, what is sense. the next two weeks? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> real quick, right. I want a real yeah. quick recap. What is the next two weeks? You people that? are all horrible. <laughs> That's yeah. what it comes down to. Uh, Sean Ford says, I'm sorry you had to go through this, but I'm sure it will be, be pure comic gold. Right. <laughs> That's yeah, why they picked it, huh? Right. We are the filter, so like we have to go through it. But hopefully, confirmation comes out bias of it. is what you yeah. guys are going through. Uh, Steve Carney says, "Call me crazy, but I loved Halloween Ends. I'm a sucker for a good evil origin story, and it was done well, and it wasn't boring. You felt bad for Corey, and then he had reasons for doing what he did. The opening of the film was great, and the thing reference was a great full circle tie in to the original Halloween. I'm happy should've for been, you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it should have been 2011. Yeah, thing, uh, but whatever." Uh, Stephen Helicopter says. Stephen Helicopter, Helicopter. Thank you. reporting for duty. Yes. <laughs> well, he says garbage flick. No. <laughs> I, to the point. Love it. Uh, last I love week. that. He, I just imagine him on a helicopter just buzzing by to say garbage <laughs> flick. No, no. I imagine him dragging Drops a it. banner yeah, behind him. Yeah, <laughs> garbage <laughs> Halloween yeah. and this garbage flick. That's how he writes in the mailbag. He banners Igor. Oh yeah. He just drops flyers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they just cascade down. Oh. Garbage flick. It's just a picture <laughs> of Halloween ends. Garbage flick. <laughs> and then go up in flames. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, Make this happen, yeah. Stephen Helicopter. Yeah. Come on. I mean, what? Uh, last week we watched a movie called The Return of the Living Dead and Joey Blythe said, I remember watching this when I was very young. I was four in 1984, so I had to be five or six when this hit video. It's crazy that I grew up in a somewhat religious household, but I feel like I watched the majority of the best horror movies by the time I was nine. Nice. That's awesome. This is like mm-hmm. the refrain of the uh, the eighties kid. You can watch this. Just be afraid of Satan. Yeah. Right. And yeah. sin. Mm-hmm. Uh, or they watch them uh, secretly. That was yeah. a- oh, definitely secretly. In the rooms where you're just like, I know what it sounds like when my mom's coming up the stairs. Like, yep. you, you have yeah, that yeah, last yeah. channel button ready. You got to yeah, have exactly. your thumb hovering on that. So Kids glad. probably still do yeah. have that, but now it's with porn, right? Mom's coming Oh, up. yeah. I got to oh, close yeah. the laptop. It's no, you, no you just click the other tab in the browser. Yeah, there you go. Yep. You do. Uh, you ever come back to that other tab and it's like, oh, it's too oh. loud. <laughs> I have to turn the volume down. <laughs> Everyone can hear what I was just looking at. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> uh, Mark Harrison <laughs> says. from experience. <laughs> oh, d- yes. Okay. On the train? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> uh, Mark Harrison says, uh, just like Night of the Living Dead, <laughs> was a film based on real events. The Breakfast Club was a film based on the true events of how the kids all became friends. I think it's a call out to, we were talking about how the kids in Return of the Living Dead like, oh, yeah, knew yeah. each other. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That, okay. That would make sense. <laughs> they did yeah. seem Breakfast Club. Yeah. yeah they, like they, had, they came from the Breakfast Club. They and all had yeah. distinct yeah. personality, like yeah. the stereotype yeah. personalities, sure. like nerd, jack, all naked that shit. <laughs> naked one. <laughs> the, the naked one. <laughs> naked punk girl. Yeah. yeah. Well, the week before that, we watched a movie you chose called Barbarian and yes. uh, mm-hmm. Michael Pitowski says, uh, hey guys, love the show. Just to let you know that they recorded an audio commentary for the digital release to Apple. Oh, yeah. Okay, sweet. Okay, so there's something we can... It's not on the Blu-ray. It's not coming to Blu-ray. I'm pretty confident that that's not going to happen. It's so weird. We've got to the point where we're selling the rights to the commentary to Apple, then we'll sell the deleted scenes to fucking Netflix, and then we'll sell this part Uh, of the... Jesus Christ. Physical media. This is... Yep. 
<sighs> you're, but you're right. That's how it's going to go. Somebody's going to bid for the. Oh, it is for Jesus. different pieces of it now. Mm-hmm. Oh, Carson Snar says, who can resist the appeal of a hidden basement room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and Colin's like, oh, I can't. I, I have can't. several yeah, of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have people, and, I have people <laughs> living in, in most of them. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimbo I says, as a current and former Metro D- Detroiter, oh. I'm mildly chagrined at how often my neighborhood is used in horror involving sexuality. This don't breathe. It follows. Yep. That being yeah. said, Brightmore is nightmarish. It's not far from the lily white suburbs of Livonia, oh. but it's on the wrong side of several freeway intersections. It is totally blighted, and you can go by blocks at a time of bombed out houses and out of businesses, out of business businesses, and Scotty Simpson's fish and chips, which is a total diamond in the rough. Oh, oh right, I love right. that. So, and it's kind of suck to always see your hometown portrayed as being nothing negative, but shit. Yeah, yeah. just negative. And yeah, so yeah, often, suck. too. Yeah, yeah that, But it is, I like, in that. America, right? Like, the, 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 the across yeah. the eight Yeah, miles. but I'm sure it's just like Oof. any other place where there is good areas and bad areas. Yeah. And, you know, like, well, I mean. Detroit is just Yeah, but it's yeah. like yeah. It's just empty houses. Yeah. There's yeah. no one living there, and there's no redevelopment yeah. or anything at all. It's, uh, mm-hmm. it's unusual. But, yeah. All right. Well, thank you all, each of you, for writing yes. in we really we appreciate, appreciate it. it thank you for your picks this month yeah, yeah there thank you, go. you. thank so you for caring what we watch what the fly uh barbarian yep a return of living dead and uh halloween news. yep <laughs> which now we're gonna go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch it starting with michaela what did you think of halloween ends i mean you know i just had low expectations and i just it i even still disappointed me and i just uh i mean I lost a lot of respect for Jamie Lee Curtis at this movie. I think her being a vulgar, cool grandma is not funny and not entertaining and not what I want of Laurie Strode at all. Not what I really want of Jamie Lee Curtis in any movie. Mm-mm. Honestly, I just find it. I just don't don't enjoy it. And I I'm good for her for getting the bag. But um, I'm also tired of her like social media pretending to care about this movie when she doesn't. Like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of don't she, insult my intelligence. I think she did like, a lot of harm to the to her that image. She did. Yeah. During this yeah. process. And it's just it is a shitty remake of Christine. And to me, that's offensive because Christine is like one of my top 10 favorite horror movies of all time. And I think it's like a perfect film. And I don't think it gets enough respect. So to see a shitty movie like take from a movie that I already feel like gets overlooked feels like salt in the wound. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it's there's so much we could spend another three hours picking it apart it's just and we're not hating on this just to hate it it's just i feel like even if you take halloween out of this it doesn't function and work as a movie and it's really stupid to tell me that this is the end of a trilogy i had eyeballs i watched those two previous movies Corey cunningham was not anywhere in those fucking movies (laughs) Mm -hmm. and allison you've she was barely a character to begin with and then you just completely took whatever you had built up and just made her fit whatever narrative you needed her to fit. Mm-hmm. And I feel bad for that actress too because she probably thought that this was going to be a huge shot for her and now this is probably all she's going to be and I expect her to be hitting up the convention circuit any day now. You know, like what a what a miss, you know. Um but I just I I would really like Blumhouse to stop doing this i mean i listen to our end of the year episode to hear me talk about their shitty fire starter remake you know <laughs> uh it's just endless the onslaught of terrible low budget just hack jobs they're doing to beloved properties uh it needs to be stopped and i feel like feel like that that i that they were talking about me when they were doing the whole evil dies tonight mob like like I, that's exactly who they're talking about is me right now being like quit remaking the movies i love but you know what it, it, make better movies how about right, that your evil yeah dies tonight. yeah if, um i'm sure that's how they feel about people that think that but whatever you know um I would say look at the producers and look at the common denominators and maybe make some assessments about you can you can track based on who's attached to what movies how the exact moment Blumhouse fell off so that's all I'll say about that mm-hmm. but uh Holly what'd you think pass by the way that wasn't <laughs> clear say, what, pass. Say, what is, what's that? oh that sounds like a recommend and Holly <laughs> oh god I'm this, I'm tired <laughs> I'm so tired that's this, this movie be. I was dreading this I, I hate this movie so much um I if they had if they just went full on like out there crazy fun with it I may have liked it maybe <sighs> like I don't know I just I, I feel like I would rather them do the same thing we've already seen mm. if they're going to remake it oh, how I feel man. too 
Like the like, like the one person that wrote in saying? and said, "If I get tired of seeing Michael Myers killing teenagers, I'll watch something yeah. else." Like, yeah, so we exactly. don't. So we don't want these franchises to go forward. Anything? No. We don't want no. them to. I either no. want. Yeah, that, we, I there's either no want franchise there. Yeah. Yeah. That's we, the we're point. Okay, we're okay with that. Like, yeah. Let it go. Yeah. Like, yeah. just yes. let it be what let it, it is. Yeah. Yep. Gonna, it is what it is. If you're gonna keep making it, just give us what we want. Okay. Or be really ridiculous. I'll take either or. This was not ridiculous in that way. Listening to us talk about it, I feel like I want to make a disclaimer that us talking about it makes it sound like a fun freak you, you, show movie. You can't believe yeah, how many. All right, yeah. yes. you can't believe how many sighs I heard in the d- the duration of this movie watching it with these people. Yeah, yes, so many sighs. <laughs> and I've been in, man. And listening to us talk. I'm about not it. saying they're wrong. I'm just saying I heard a lot of them. Yeah. And listening to us all talk about it, I think we could really. <laughs> fool you into thinking that it's a fun freak show movie and it's not it's an important disclaimer yes it's that. not it sounds like it is it sounds like it's ridiculous and out there and bizarre but it's really not the fun one that we like to watch this is a terrible movie we you know i said it earlier if you take michael myers out if you take if you if it's not a halloween movie it's still a shitty movie and that's Oh my god, it's just offensive on every level. I'm not I'm clearly not the biggest Halloween fan here, but I do like Halloween and I'm still very offended by this movie. It's just awful. It's an insult to where movies are nowadays. Like it's it's this is where we are. Like I give up on Hollywood like Colin said. I, I give up. Like movies are just wow. I think this, this broke was, the this three of the, us. The thirteenth Halloween yeah. movie yeah. broke you? Okay. Like, I ugh. I, I just don't know. Just stop making these movies. Stop. You know, I, I am not the person that is like, eh, if they make Halloween, I'll keep going to see it as long as it's what I want. No, I don't want you to make them anymore. If you're going to make them do this and this, but just don't make them anymore. I'm done. I'm very done. I don't like you what see, this. You sound like me two years ago. <laughs> I don't like what, I don't like what this did to Jamie Lee Curtis in my mind. Like I no. This no, because she and John Carpenter are executive producers on yeah. this. They're the custodians of this, and they clearly they know, shouldn't be. They, they shouldn't know. be. They this don't know like, what it, the like appeal they, of it they is. They made Jamie Lee Curtis right. Exactly. Yeah. The person Jamie Lee Curtis, who's famously known for not liking horror movies, yeah. has become an executive producer and a custodian of this. Yeah. To drive this, right. and it's not the people who should be in charge right. of it. No. John Carpenter should not be in no, charge give a of this Halloween yeah. of these yeah. new iterations. Stop going to him to get his approval. Because it doesn't matter. He, he doesn't should not care. be the one. And he yeah. doesn't care. Right. Stop doing it. These people should not be involved on a creative process. Sorry. No. Halloween should end. That's it. Halloween yes. Should end. That's it. <laughs> That's what the end. title should be. Halloween yes. should end. Halloween should end. Now, after all that. <laughs> Colin? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, when I was saying that the, the, this is the movie that broke me, I think it's a, it's a cumulative effect. I think the last one that I would put it comparable to this was The Last Jedi, uh, where you just kind of yeah. feel like like these people who are making these movies, you know, they're, I, I understand their motivation, that they're compelled to do something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. But it's a it's a trap it's like the new scream movie you know it's like somebody's awarding you this thing and you're like that's great you know i want to make i've always i love those movies i wish i could have made scream and so they try to make scream again yes. which in which case that's a trap because you can't be better than the first one yeah or you have to make something completely different in which case you're alienating the entire fan base you know in can't order to, to try and well, now we're going to actually elevate it and make it about something, you know? Um, but that's not why the movies work. Like, yeah. what do you want if from you a want, Halloween if you movie? you want to do something different, make a different movie. Yeah. Make a different movie. That's it. And so then it becomes like, yeah, I don't care about anything that you are going to call Halloween in the future. I don't care about anything called Scream. I don't care now, you know, because God knows the Friday the 13th franchise has finally been like. It's coming back. Yeah. And I don't care. You're gonna it's like, so go fuck Friday yourself. Shit. I know. Oh I like, I saw all those movies and this is the thing, I guess it always kind of irritates me about Hollywood's remake obsession, because I know that the only reason that they do it is because, uh, it has a brand name and people will go and there'll be money made. Then they don't care what it is. 
at all. As long as it has that title on it, you could sl- it could be anything, but you're going to go see it. And I'm like, I, for one, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not going to go see it anymore. I know what the fucking game is. You know, I'm, I'm done with it. I would rather promote like, uh, interesting and new horror movies mm-hmm. like Barbarian yes. or uh, even, you know, Smile, I thought was really, yep. you know, listen to our uh, end of the year episode. Yes. Stuff like uh, Skinnamarink intrigues me. Right. Yeah, exactly. haven't seen like it, when but it's it, coming to shutter soon, yeah. right. then I am going to watch that yep. shit. That kind of stuff still. So it's like, it's not like I'm swearing off movies. You yeah. Know? But I mean, <laughs> I know that like I'm offended, I guess. Uh, more often than not by the stuff that is supposedly catered to me and my interests and my generation. Cause I grew up with all this stuff, but it is kind of making Halloween and star Wars and these franchises. Like I remember scream being awesome and now it's shit. Star Wars <laughs> is shit. Halloween is shit. You make a new Friday the 13th movie. It's going to be shit. It's like, you know, I got better things to do with my life. So and they are yeah. making better things that you can't do with yes, your life. Yeah, I guess that's it. We it's don't like have, you can go we are becoming less reliant there. on these franchises, hopefully. Yeah, but see the, the but they, they do keep coming they, back. Because like I'm sure all the Halloween movies made a ton of money at the box office, yeah. and I can only hope that that was from uh I mean, I guess that's the thing. They're they're relying on like, well, we'll have new people, right, who didn't see the original, or they saw the original and then they saw these three, right? And they're also aware that there is, as Sean said at the very beginning of this episode, he said there was a sickness, but he didn't define it. But the sickness is, right, that as long as it has the name on it, you will go see it and you'll sit there and go like, well, that sucked. But the next one, (laughs) right? Maybe there'll be something in the next one. Literally us talking about the Scream trailer in the group chat this week. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about this, but we'll be there. At some yeah. point, you have to just say. Also you know, interested. Because but- that's the thing. But the thing that stops them yeah. from doing this is we stop going to see these fucking shitty you movies have to vote with that are wallet. raping the corpse of the fucking thing that we <laughs> like. Yes, it's dead. It's old. They've killed it, you know? <laughs> so uh, just go back. And I, 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 you know, especially in today's marketplace where um, you do kind of have, um, you know, the uh, Fathom events and stuff like that yes. where you can go see the original. It's like they put the new movie out. You can, or the original, sorry, you can, you can watch the original whenever you want. It's not like you have to wait for a fucking re-release. Yeah. It's like, if this is a good movie, just watch Halloween. Bring Halloween back every Halloween. Make it like Wizard of Oz. Just like it's yeah, a cultural right? thing. Right? Yep. Yes. Like Scream Instead was, of making Scream was Wizard the, of Oz Not so long ago, Scream was the Sunday night movie on NBC. Mm. Like, that's where we... <laughs> Yeah. That always tickles me. Yeah. So I would say, yeah, run screaming far away from this whole thing was a misadventure uh, that never should have been undertaken. It just it kills your fucking soul. Uh, so pass. Sean, take us home. It's good. It's so funny to come from that and just go, I'm going to recommend, I'm going to recommend this movie. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't, don't put words in my mouth, but I do recommend this movie. I recommend it because this is such a left turn from where we came from. And where I where I thought we would land, where this franchise should have landed, based on what we were doing, um, it's such a complete twist. As far as I'm concerned, that uh, I have to recommend that you watch it. And for and I can't sit here and go into a 20 minute diatribe of why you should see it. Listen to what we've talked about the last um, hour and 45 minutes. Um, but I, I think it's so. It's so crazy for a Halloween movie. Like I can't. It th- th- this movie was nuts to me when I first watched it. I couldn't believe they did what they did. I enjoyed the Corey Cunningham stuff because what are you gonna do with Michael Myers? Thirteen movies in, give him a fucking sidekick and let's go fucking murdering people. I was all for that, and you know that's not for everybody. I recognize that this movie has a bunch of problems. I hate a lot of it, but you know what? I'm going to recommend it because it's so fucking crazy. How many times have you seen it now? This is my fourth time. And how many times, like, was the, the first weekend? How many times did you watch Three it? Three times in a row. Like within, a, within within probably a 24-hour period. Oh, my God. And the, it, the, I the couldn't, next because one comes I couldn't, out, you're going to be first in because line. Because I couldn't believe what they were doing. It was such a... 
at a certain point, Colin said like he's gotten fed up with certain franchises. I've been I, I was fed up long ago. So when you get it, I think when you get it fed up with a franchise and they keep going with it, to me, I'm just like the, do if you do something crazy enough. I think I'm there for it now. Like I see this new Scream Six trailer, and it looks so far outside of what Scream is at this point. I'm just like, all right, fine. Like, where are we going with this? So I think this this movie goes so weirdly in a Halloween series, just based on the thing it in mass and on this trilogy. That I'm like, you, I I, I want to discuss this movie with people, so I have to recommend that they watch it so they can talk to me about it. That's crazy, I know. But I'm gonna sit here and do it because I uh, it, it was such a left turn and so crazy it it got me. I'm gonna recommend Halloween Ends. I I don't you, mean you don't recommend Halloween Kills. No, okay. not at all. all right. but Halloween Ends. I'm yeah. uh, I'm I'm all for everyone watching. Okay, all right. The, the, I'm, I'm, uh, I apologize. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's where I am. Like, I, I think there's so many, there's so much interesting stuff. Uh, even when I say interesting, interesting also means it's bad and also good. You know what I mean? But it's interesting to me, so I, I have to recommend it. And this is coming from the same guy who recommended Possession, which I think almost killed Michaela at oh one my point. God, I oh, I, rec- I wholeheartedly well, recommend. Well, see, they, it. Oh, now but, on Shutter, you can actually oh, see. Right, exactly. Yeah. But I think there are things that get to a certain <laughs> point that you just have to recommend them for other people to see. If nothing else, I want to talk to you about it. So, uh, not online though, in person. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make that clear. But yes, uh, I recommend. Halloween ends. Well, see, that's what we're saying about this show. The excitement is you never know, never know. how it's going to uh, end up. You never know, who's going to, who's going to. No, I knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, we knew, we knew how this no. was going to go. But that's listener pick month. Yeah. That's, that's the right. end. We're ramping it up. All that's right. all you get. All right. <laughs> now it's back to us. <laughs> all right. Well, that means next week we're watching a movie that's chosen by Colin. We're, we're starting back at top. What are we going to watch next week? What are we? What are we? Twenty twenty three. First pick. Of first pick the year. We're coming off Halloween ends. What are we watching? Yeah, are we going to well, cleanse this palate? Yeah, what? Uh, well, maybe a little bit. Please, this may be a key please. choice. Okay. All right. Well, um, so I always kind of sounds um, like Halloween five. Can't we can't do it? Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, we're going to do Halloween five. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, so, we're going to do Friday the Thirteenth Part Five. Well, I'm always kind of uh, disappointed that I can never get this uh, alliteration going oh. with uh, Giallo Jan- January. Right. Okay. So it's I always have to do it it's in February. Yeah. So that's why every February I think I end up uh, picking a Jala movie. And we've always watched the on-brand Jala movies. Oh. You guys have only seen like Dario Argento movies. Uh-huh. So now we're going to go uh, into what the genre probably actually is more like. We're going to go with Sergio Martino, and we're going to watch a movie called Torso. Ooh, that's next right. week's that's movie. A cool title. It's a good I, title. Like it's a good Torso. title. Yeah. I don't think that's you the Italian everything. one. I feel like you know everything just from that title. Torso. Yeah. Torso. I know. All right. Right. Like sexy murder movie, right? right. There you go. Yeah. And we're left with a torso. Yeah. The torso. All right. So next week we're watching Torso, torso <laughs> on Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. No, I'm now.